What is up, YouTube? We just got finished hosting Champions of Realms Injustice 2, and it doesn't stop here. Top 8 for this insane tournament is going to be going down this Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time Zone over in the homie Caboose's Twitch channel. It's going to be twitch.tv slash caboose. I'm going to have links in the description below directing you to his Twitch channel. That way you don't have to be a headless chicken looking for the tournament. Injustice 2 being nearly a four-year-old game, the, the tech, the combos, and just the competition was mind-blowing. I mean, check out the tournament for yourself. Let me know in the comments below who do you think is going to be winning the entire thing on Friday. And yeah, I hope you guys come through to support on the live stream. And until then, enjoy this action. Champions of the Realms, Injustice 2, Top 16 Invitationals about to go down. We got some of the best Injustice 2 players lined up for some crazy action today. We got the motherfucking OG Caboose in the building. Hey. Caboose, yes, talk to me, man. How you feeling? I know Injustice 2 is definitely your cup of tea, so yeah. I know you're super hype about this one. Hey, since we started Champions of the Realms, like maybe around this time last year, I always wondered if there'd come a time, if there'd be a day where we run Injustice 2 as a tournament. And here we are doing an Injustice 2 version of Champions of the Realms. We invited some of the top 16 best of the best that this scene has to offer, old blood and new blood. So you guys are gonna be prepared, or you better be prepared for an insane tournament. Oh, it's gonna be freaking insane. You know, we got the bracket right here just to, you know, give everyone a taste of what's to come. You got accurate, uh, you know, this guy's multi-talented with a lot of characters in this tournament. Going up against Blood Cry, we got yep. Majin Brian versus Twilin, Kompa versus Loki, Akio versus Forever King, Mason versus Gur, Bio versus Huang Phoenix, Tweety versus Swamp King and Shithead versus Honeybee. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah no. So like, like we said, we bringing you guys some of the best of the best for this tournament. And I honestly, I cannot wait. Destroyer, we've rounded out a top 16 of some killers. You look top to bottom in this bracket and any name there could be your winner for Champions of the Realms Injustice. No, 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 no. So we're gonna run this back Let's try that again. proper way to competitive mode, force competitive mode on. Let's go. Game one about to go underway between accurate and blood cry. Still Dr. Fate versus Aquaman, which I think is only fair. I don't want to see any character switches going in as a restart. You wanna see character switches? Now, uh, oh, I wanna see him. Alright, it's officially underway. Game one of Champions of the Realms Injustice 2. You motherfucker, you. All right, it's going down. It's going down. Tentacles versus projectiles. It's like we didn't go anywhere. Left off where we started the zone war commencing yet again. I think we should have named the series Champions of the Zone. I think we should have uh, named the series Vengeance of Horus. A little you, poke, poke into the Trident Rush. There's the trait activation. You nice calling me a whore? Yeah. Oh my god, knocks him out of the air with a jump attack. Accurate oh, right nice. now. Good jump in there. Yeah, he tried to back up, and there goes the, the, the tried and true trident rush right there. One of the most annoying oh. tools in Injustice 2 to date. 
Smart stuff there from Blood Cry, going for the parry and meter burning it for that extra bit of damage. That's always what you want to do when you have that magic pixel on the first health bar, is get away with as much damage as you possibly can. Still though, accurate with a huge life lead, especially after landing those projectiles with the trait activated. Yeah, this is getting a little wild here. I don't know if that was a back two or what, but he tried to catch him with a juicy whip nice. punish. Knocks him out of the air, caboose, and just like that, he takes the life bar, tying things up here. Well, not tying things up, but you know what I mean. Yes, sir, yes, sir. This is not like MK, unfortunately. He, he, he's at a, at a better position, basically. And if I'm not mistaken, both these players are gonna still have access to the clash. Ooh. He is. Oh, misses the back three. That would have been huge for accurate, but oh, he drops dude. it. He's trying to use the spacing Overhead. of that trident to catch him slipping, and there it goes. Aggregate gonna have all the meter here, all the advantages to work with in this clash. This yes. might be bad news, Bears. How much he go up? 15%. Bar, keep two, per, two bars, 15% extra health, and those projectiles will land. Game one, gonna go to accurate. Dr. Fate wins. You don't impress me. Oh my god, and look at that. What gang you think this motherfucker is repping? Why he shooting gang signs at us, bro? Relax, Dr. Fate. We might have to get Dr. Fate banned from the tournament because he's, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna get the whole studio shot up by gangs. Oh my god. Well, going right back into this. It looks like he's gonna remove their shirt. Did you realize that? Oh yeah, he took off the shirt and he brought in the, the freaking the Kraken tried in the legendary gear. I like it. You saying you like Aquaman shirtless? You don't? Know? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> those milk duds, you know? those milk duds are looking pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that legendary gear is sick though too. Look at the trident. Oh, is that legendary oh, gear? Yeah, and Justice 2 gear system, undefeated. Oh, dude, I'm gonna have to agree with you 100% on that. Now, I'm not here to talk shit about MK11 gear system. But Netherrealm, if anyone's out there watching from the studio, please incorporate this. Yeah, incorporate the Injustice 2 gear system into MK or Injustice 3 because this was gear done right. Yep. Cosmetics thing, done right. The only thing that needed to not happen was duplicates. That was the only thing that made this game like suck more. I was still fine with it, bro. You, oh, I Listen, as, as long as they don't... Brother, as long as they don't got me fucking grinding an Elder God rank combat league for a goddamn duplicate, we're chilling, <laughs> all right? Give me all the duplicates. Just don't hey, make me grind me, for it in Elder God. For me, it was the fucking duplicates that made it impossible for me to get that one Batman helmet. I had to play this game for three years to get it. Okay, <laughs> that little low poke into the Trident Rush. I remember, I remember the, the fucking, rush. the tweet you the made tweet. about it, bro. Yeah. It, was, it was like a, a groundbreaking moment in the history of time and space. That's right, that's right. Big clash oh, no, right here at the beginning of this next health bar from Accurate. Doesn't want to take a lot of damage. Gonna get just a bit of health back. Probably gonna bet one bar, expecting nothing to be bet in return from Blood Cry, which is exactly what goes down there. Accurate spawns in the little health bubble. What? Oh, uses so that, the that projectile bubble, projectile. it doesn't have an effect to the opponent. It's just gonna give uh, Dr. Fate some HP back. So on trait, it's damage over time, but without trait, it's the health level. All right, all right. I like the sound of that. Oh my God, what a back three out of nowhere. Sent his ass flying into Atlantis. Let's see what happens here. He has him locked down in the Man. corner, tags him with the mid into the Trident Rush, just has him abused in this corner. Let's see what Akira can do here. Showing that Dr. Fate is not just a zoner, there's that little uh, parry with the amplification, or the meter burn, I should say. I know, yo, Caboose, can we talk about the fact that this went from a straight zone war to a straight yep. slugfest? These That's dudes right. are killing each other. Accurate, about one oh. touch away, what? Wow, accurate. That is unfortunate, because Blood Cry was in a position where if he got touched, he could have clashed. Still had it available to him. But after using that meter burn roll, he kind of signed his death certificate, and Accurate takes the second game. That was pretty fucking wild. And again, huge shout outs to everyone coming through, supporting the stream. Everybody that was dropping subs, bits, the whole nine yards. I just want to mention now, if if me or Caboose miss like a, a thank you to the sub or a thank you to the bits, I just want to let you guys know, you know, we're running production, we're running commentary, we're doing it all. And it's a small team, so I, we apologize ahead of time if we miss your sub, if we miss your dono. It's greatly appreciated. We love you.
Here we go, potential final game. Let's do it. Bloodcry is gonna have to channel his inner Thothinski if he wants to close this out. Good throw. He's gonna use a tentacle to uh, toss him into the corner here. He's gonna use the Thothinski to toss him into Thothinska. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fucking homeland. Who told you about it? Uh, who told I you about? It? Who told you about Thothinska? That's where I live. You, you were you were having a little you were a little tipsy and you told me by accident. Oh shit! I fucking slipped up. Man, Bloodcry is... is just getting zoned out here. He needs to get that opening. Yeah. He needs to get that damage act. Oh, what a reaction! This is really unfortunate because what we saw before we had to change the lobbies, Bloodcry was winning those trades. No, he don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. I was afraid you bring you brought that one up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try to go for the overhead. Good reaction there from Accurate. Okay, here we go. This is good damage for Bloodcry to get away with, especially on the magic pixel of his first health bar. With Holy the incident cow. air from Accurate gets that health bar down. Match point now for Accurate. I mean, I still have faith. This is presumably the best Aquaman in this fucking game. So I, I think he can do this. He just needs to tighten it up. He needs to tighten that Totinski up, Caboose. Oh, ends the meter for the interactable, but it's not going to be enough. Constellation damage now for Accurate. And there we go. The chip will do it. Is it bad that I'm updating the bracket already? Air to air, this is rough right now for Bloodcry. He's got to figure it out. Oh, that's huge. The damage is going to be big. Bloodcry doesn't even decide to clash. It looks like he's thrown in the towel, and that'll be the game. Three games to none for Accurate. Wow. What a fucking match. What a way to get this tournament started. This is just a taste to show that, you know, this is either going to be good games across the board or blowouts across the board, yep. dude. Yep absolute insanity we just witnessed there but congratulations to accurate he is going to be moving on the bracket advancing into round two winner side which is no easy feat well, let's go it's getting started wylan going up against majin brian we got motherfucking gorilla broad going up against the atom this is a very problematic matchup we got here so I just can't wait to see how this plays out. I can't wait to see how Twilin deals with this. Adam. I'm just excited that we finally got the match underway. Tell me go. about it, bro. I was literally getting ready to end the goddamn tournament, take all the money myself, and just dip. <laughs> nice what's the price, what's the price for that? He says a thousand plus? I'm buying myself yeah. a PlayStation. I'm out. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you got a PS5 just recently, I heard. That's right, motherfucker. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. Exciting. Okay. All right. Nice use of the trait there. Goes for the grab to make sure he keeps himself safe off of the trait being run out. Goes to the teleporter. Nice. Little down poke there. And the ground pound. The ground pound again. Listen, before you people ask why the hell is Majin Brian Echo Fox up in this shit, he requested this, all right? <laughs> oh, is that projectile? Oh, just eats that hit. And now Twilin is going to get some things going. Look at the damage destroyer. Did he oh, drop it? Tried to get through the armor. Two hits of armor just swallowed there off of that interaction. Good stuff from Majin Bryant. Oh, that could have been a ridiculous setup if you used that projectile to knock Twilight into the trap. Yeah, you know, I, I, I was talking about this being a problematic matchup, but all Twilight really needs to do is get one touch in, and from there, it's just mix after mix after mix after mix, you know? 100%. 100%. That's the name of the game. 100 Pipos? 100 Pipos and maybe 30 Shippadins. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to adjust the uh, scoreboard here. Wow, what's going on? This motherfucker got the longest goddamn name in the fucking history of competitive gaming. <laughs> Shit doesn't even fit in the fucking scoreboard. Nice grab there from Majin Brian right now. So far has a flawless round on that second health bar. Goes for the meter burn teleport. A little sweep action from Twilin. Gets caught though. This is big damage. Gonna go for the 4-3 into the back three. Unclashable there. And the chip. This is unreal. Majin Brian taking game one with Adam. Okay, I'm removing Echo Fox from this guy's name. Fuck that shit. He's not, you know, just, you know what, just kick him out of the tournament. Kick him out of the tournament? Just ban him. All right, that sounds good. All right, guys, we're gonna, be mo we're gonna be moving on to the next match here.
That's it, new rule. You can't have more than fucking 12 characters in your fucking name when playing in James of the Rome. If not, it messes up the scoreboard. What did you call me? Spiders approaching. I called you a pipo. Okay. Right. You good with that name? I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that. Oh, come on, bro. Don't do me like that. You serious? Right. What are you what? doing? Caboose, put that down. That's my PlayStation 5. Put that down. Why? Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving with the PlayStation? Motherfucker. He took my PlayStation. Oh my god, look at this. This is Planet of the Motherfucking Apes right now. Hits him with the reset. Dude, that's oh, comboing the still. Reset. Where did that reset happen? Explain to me. I don't know what happened there, but that's pretty much an entire health bar. Oh my gone. god. That is the power of Gorilla Grodd. So where we saw in that last match that Majin Brian was kind of able to hold his own and avoid any of this. Now we see what happens when Twilight's unleashed with Gorilla Grodd. That was a new movie. This is fucking... <laughs> Yo, nobody told me Caboose was the voice actor for this monkey. Nobody told me that. Oh, nicely done. Good little combo incoming here from Majin Brian using the stage bounce into the setup. Oh, was he trying to go for a reset himself there with the cross? I don't know, dude, but but Twilin needs to take advantage of this momentum he has. You know, a life lead like the one he's sitting on right now is definitely what can get him this set. Oh, what the hell? How did he know that was a punish? Knocked him right out of the atom trait. Has to go for the clash event. there. Majin Brian's taking a lot of hits, and Twilin is really dominating in this second game. Gonna bet that one bar to get 50% out back. Pretty much undoing the damage he just took going into the clash for the teleport. Tries to go for the down two, and down twos are really effective in Injustice 2, because, you know, unlike MK, down twos in this game, you get full blown fucking combos, Caboose. Nice interactable. Okay, and the trait's been activated. This is where he's got to make use. The trade is so key for Majin Brian. The knockdown there. He blocks the other uh, interactable coming from the left side of the screen. Damn right, this is going to hurt. I mean, for Majin Brian to make a comeback at this point, dude, he's going to need miracles on top of miracles, Caboose. Oh, don't say that just yet, because after the chip damage from that trade activation and that hilarious mid-round taunt, Majin Brian's got a first health bar down. The sweep gonna connect for Twilin though. There's that stop. Can you Project hit us? Can land. you hit us with another here here. another Grodd impression? <laughs> okay, wait. Trade activation destroyer. Hold on a second. You think Majin I might have jinxed it? A bit of a comeback. You Turns might have out. jinxed it. Sonic. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, Caboose. If I jinx it, I'm gonna gorilla glue my mouth shut. <laughs> Oh, oh no! That's that, no! That is death! That is it. Charged right at him, and Twilight gonna tie this set up the one to one, one, and he's gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you made Shao Kahn laugh. That is one of the most difficult things oh, to do shit. in the history of histories. Yo, Shao, Shao Kahn! Shao Kahn, you find that funny? Let me tell you, you fucking suck in Mortal Kombat hey, 11. Hey. Hey. <laughs> He's still laughing at me. He's still laughing. I don't know if you really should have said that Fighters to Shao Kahn. Sorry, sorry. Swamp. I take it back. He's got, you know, the, the padlock on the studio. He's got the hammer. He could just break it, you know, like. Wait, so are you telling me he was the one that was causing the frame drops? Uh, he might have been. Motherfucker. You know, if I keep doing my grot impression, we won't have any more frame drops for the stream, is what you're saying. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh my god, down twos him right out of it! Dude, if I ever seen someone dealing with the Adam's trade so good, it's fucking Twilight. He knocked him out of that situation twice already with full combo punishes, bro. And now we got a goddamn gorilla doing telekinesis. Ta talk to me, what's going on? Nicely done, the little push block to deflect the trait activation there. Armor straight through that interactable, and Twilight now, again, gonna go for this big Gorilla Grodd combo. Air escape from Majin Brian. Wanted to avoid the additional damage, and now here's the trait combo. A healthy 30% there. One of the cross-up didn't get it. Damn, that was looking juicy, bro. They're playing a wild Ooh. game here. You know, Adam has so much mobility and it kind of just looks oh, like oh. Twilight's trying to chase him down and get that one good hit to put him in the vortex. Yeah, Look at this! The, the gorilla cancels coming in hot. Oh, Another my. one! Oh my, look at that. Twilight just in Majin Brian's face and this is where he's succeeding the most so far. 
What's Brian gonna do to answer? Goes for the meter print teleport. There's the damage over time. He's kind of just sitting oh, there. Oh, wait. No. Oh, this is unfortunate. But he wasn't able to land any hits. That could have been so bad for Twilight. Oh, my with, God. Or sorry, for Majin Brian. With Twilight at the magic pixel on that first health bar. For he real. any hits to gain that health and, and everyone, I mean, you know, you, me, and the whole chat, we need to remember once Gorilla God, God, and fuck it. At this point, Gorilla God. It, once Gorilla much. God gets a touch in, bro. It's the Vortex of a lifetime. Probably one of the strongest Vortexes in NRS history. He gets a three-way mix. He gets a low. He gets an overhead. And he gets yep. a fucking air grab, bro. No doubt about it. Okay, wait a second. Dude, now the turnaround from my and Brian. Oh, wake up. That's going to be some good damage. Now for Twilight. They are duking it out, Destroyer. They really are. Oh, Holy in. shit. He canceled it. Why? There's the trade. I don't know why he, he thought He thought he was going to roll out. He thought he was, was going to roll out. Oh my god, Twilight, you gotta close this out here. Oh, no, meter for factory! And he's gonna meter burn it again. Unclashable damage, Brian! Taking the lead in this set, bringing some excitement to this tournament. Bro, I didn't think it was gonna take up to game two to get this shit fired up, but oh my god, Injustice 2 has never looked better. Without a doubt, we are watching a slugfest between Twilight and Majin Brian. Let's see I what love, happens I love here. The, uh, I love the David versus Goliath vibes that I get from this. You know, the world's smallest character versus this giant gorilla is going to be friggin' insane. 2 1 right now <laughs> for Brian. But I could see this going to a game five destroyer and what a up? nice start Bro, now from Twilight. How do you make that read? He knocked him out of the air on the oh. jump in and just continuing the vortex here. What's it gonna did be? You, What's it gonna be? Overhead or low caboose? Interruptible! The Into the back three! There? It's too much mix. It's oh, it, bro. Mix. It's, City right Caboose, now for Caboose, it's so much mixed to the point where I'm not even catching these resets, bro. He's just Holy losing damage on top of damage on top of damage. He reset into low, and then he got the 4-3 into overhead. Okay, wait, that damage over time. I think that was a good trade. I think that was a good trade. And then the down three to close it out. The reach on that down three is so good for Gorilla Grodd. I'm telling you right now, man. If Caesar's watching this, he's got to be proud. <laughs> together. Boom. <laughs> the damage over time saves Brian there from taking additional damage, and he ties this up, or at least close to it. He's going to activate the Gorilla Grodd trait. He's going to turn into Kenshi now. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> the block breaker oh, catches him on the stomp. That was genius. And, dude, that, that little, uh, whatever that move is called, the Gorilla Charge, is doing a lot of damage. He's chunking him for, like, 15% every time. Yeah, no thought about it right now. Brian's gonna have to put the two bar, get 25% health back, play a little bit of catch up. Oh, meter burns the projectile. This is big now for Brian. He's gonna get some good hits in with the background bounce, a healthy 32%, which is good damage for Adam. You see now the he's just pussies be right now? To get caught in the vortex. Nicely done. He oh my the god! Tree, and the trade combo comes in. That was a lot of damage right there. Going for the gorilla cancels again. The interregnable drops it, but catches him himself. Caboose, not like this. I mean, this I want to see them go to a game five, but holy shit. Oh, I think he, oh, oh, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. No. He's got a clash. He dropped it. Oh my God, Destroyer. He's got a clash. He's going to go for the unclashable. He's going to go for the unclashable. Oh, no clash. He could have clashed there. Couldn't he have clashed? Did he clash Twilight already? Loses it no, no, no. Brian, no, he didn't. Adam, How do you know he didn't clash? I can see it. He still has the shield next to his head. What the fuck is this kid doing? Oh, no. Twilight. Yo, yo, Twilight Spanky, Twilight stop the music. Spanky, stop the music. He had it right there. The only thing I could possibly understand as to why he didn't clash oh there my is God. because the trait. It's because the trait crossed him up, and he didn't know which direction to push the button to activate Clash. That's the only reason I can possibly make sense of why that happened. So unfortunate. GG's though. Twilight still played extremely well, and it was a photo finish. We're going to go ahead and screen share this for Caboose. Uh, this is just wasting a lot of fucking time, dude. Yep. What's that? You guys want Chains of the Realms of Season 2? Fuck out of here, man. What the hell? What is this shit? Oh my god. The fuck, motherfucker. The fuck? <laughs> uh, let me see if I can capture OBS. Go live. Let me know if you see that. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. 
All right, uh, Compa and, and Shark, you guys are good to go. You can get off AFK. You can get this match started. Uh, Why don't you try sending me another invite in the meantime? I'll restart my game and see if I can just get in in, in the meantime. Bro, this is going to be every other match, man. I know. It's going to be it's going to be rough, but we got to see if we can just make it happen, you know? Hopefully. I'm, I'm being hopeful here. Fingers crossed. All right, but let's get into this. We got motherfucking sure. Rajan Kompa. Uh, I know he... I think he dabbles with Robin and Batman the most. So, I, I again, I forgot who Loki plays. So, depending on, on the character Loki whips out, I'll be able to give you guys a, a, a bit more insight here. So, we're about to see what happens in a couple seconds if, if Loki can get off the fucking AFK real quick. Yo, Loki, wake up! Are these guys... Oh, shit. Huge shout-outs to Injustice Television with the raid. Hope you guys had a good time over on the Injustice Television. And, uh... If I tell Loki to get off AFK one more time, this guy's getting banned from the tournament. Okay, he got off of AFK. Thank the heavens. It's about to go down. Caboose, you all say you watching what's going on? Did I lose Caboose? I can't hear him. Hello? Hellboy. Yo! Fighters approaching Fortress of Solitude. Hello? Running tournaments for Injustice 2 is a nightmare. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You see the game, bro? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Begin. This was the problem we were having last time, though. Yeah, so that's the problem with the score. So now screen share is not even an option. But uh, after this one, we're going to create a room and hope for the best. Anyways, getting into the match, we got Kompa going with the Batman like I stated. And Loki playing with the Hellboy. This was definitely something I didn't expect to catch going on here. This is about to be wild. Kibuz, did we lose you again? No, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, okay. Don't you worry. Yeah, message me on the on the Discord if if, if well, I lose the you. Thing is, the thing is, is I always hear you. You just stop hearing me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Well, if I see you in quiet for too long, I'll know something's up. All right. Pretty back and forth start here for both Bumpa and Loki. Nice down two there. Into a pretty big combo with the background bounce. Misses the back three though. Ooh, that could have been a punish. Saved with the trait though. Compa with a pretty decent start. Compa, mira, compa, mira, coño, pero compa, puta compa. Diablo, pero llámame compa, llámame fucking compa, maldita puta. Compa, compra la compa. Coño, pero yo necesito compa en el toto. Yo, yo, Caboose, relax. I can't stop him. I can't stop him. Caboose, relax. You're getting out of control. Don't talk like that, bro. You, you trying all to get right, the, the whole right. channel banned? Yeah, Don't so talk like that. Fight? Oh right, my nice god! Wow. Hits him with a down two, knocking him out of the air. Let's see what happens Wowzers. here. We got motherfucking Batman from the future with this this cosmetics Ooh. he has. You seeing this Batman, bro? I, I want. Love those I, want I want your one out of ten opinion on this Batman cosmetics. I'm gonna give him a Wowzers out of ten. <laughs> oh wow! Down two into the meter burn forward three. That was interesting stuff there from Bumpa right now. Go on, you gonna come back with this Batman? Bumpa. Maldita compa! Very good patience from Loki who's gonna get some things going now. Oh, he kicked him. He kicked him on the ground. He blows out this round and does so with a gunshot. Loki now has a chance to start making a comeback. Very good stuff. He's gonna charge up with the armor on lockdown. Let's see what happens here. Tries him with the overhead, but a down one coming from Loki. Look at this, man. They're just staring each other down, waiting for the... Ooh, try to cancel the liftoff, but the clash. He said, I'm Ron Perlman. I'm fucking Ron Perlman. <laughs> I, got, I got to say, uh, Kompai's really been on it. And he's doing such a great job with shutting down those cross-up attempts and the hopping around that we see. He said, he said, he said, you know who I am? I'm fucking Ron Perlman. You fucking wise guy. I'm Ron Perlman. So you're calling me a wise guy? I'm calling you a Ron Perlman, bro. You're calling me a wise guy. 
I'm calling you Ron Perlman Jr. You said I'm a wise guy? Yeah, listen here, you fucking wise guy. Alright, hell shit. You got two seconds to join the room, or else I'm taking your prize pool. You invited me? <laughs> no, I, I did. I was just, I was just I'm trolling. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, uh, having this fucking stream, the screen share, it has all the audio, like, skipping and stuff, man. I'm gonna have to take a visit to NetherRealm Studios, and I'm gonna ask them if they can fix the uh, Injustice 2 servers. You think, to, you think they can do that for me? Yeah, maybe. Oh, he tries to stagger with the whatever hell happened there. Tries to go with the grab. Leaps away. He's leaping all over the place. Compa right now. Not finding a, a, a good opportunity to attack. And I wonder why Loki goes with the Hellboy. I, I could have sworn Loki was uh, rocking the fucking... The Brainiac. But I was totally yeah. wrong. That's right, you were setting that up. And who knows, maybe that will be a character that he switches to. It's kind of similar in nature with Hellboy. You know, doing, jumping around, doing the, the air dashes and the hops and the compas. Oh, there it is. And I'll tell you what, man. Once Batman gets his hands on you, he's going to reset into more mix. Look at the staggers coming from Compa here. This nice, is looking uh, very juicy. Yeah, he's just backing up, waiting for the opportunity to strike. But Hellboy is looking like a young Gorilla Grodd flying all over the fucking air. I'm telling you, Compa has been so solid at not allowing Loki an opportunity to get that mix going to try and attempt to cross up. As soon as he is above Gompa, a down two is shot out and an anti Did you just see that con that confirmed? That was godlike. Holy cow, this man converted off of nothing right there. The staggers from Loki. Can he do something about this problematic matchup here? Leaping all over the place. Oh, that kick, if it would have connected, that probably could have been some a good opportunity for Loki right there. Just taking a step back. He's gonna hit it with the fucking grapple. Oh, oh the wake up! Meiosis! Meiosis! What was that? Loki is jumping around. It doesn't get anti-air that time. Oh, finds a way to get a hit. Good stuff. Okay, here we go. An opening for Loki now. Activates the trait. He's got to close out that health bar. Cannot lose a lot of life. He's just continuing the pressure here. And there it is. Ooh, Kicks him right in the mouth. Nice. Loki staying alive. He said, you know who I am? I'm Ron Perlman. Oh, you said that. You heard him? I heard him. He pulled out the cross and he said he was Ron Perlman. I don't know what that has to do anything with the match, but he's letting Batman know that he's Ron Perlman. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's me, Ron Perlman. Yeah. How you doing? I'm Ron Perlman. Nice to meet you, Ron Perlman. Are you a Ron Perlman? Yeah, it's me, Ron Perlman. How can I help you? You, you stupid bitch. Hey. Whoa, wow. You see how savage he gets? That's actually fucked up right there. Catch it with a oh, jump back. No. Good attack with a back three. Double back three. Keeping it on clash yeah. one. The, the trait. The trait. That was, knocks him out of commission. That was near impossible for Loki to try and come back from. Gompa now up 2-0 in the set. Really put it on a show with this Batman. Yeah, I'm Ron Perlman. Oh, yeah. Let That's me neat. see. I'm going to stop the stream because it's causing issues with the audio, bro. I'm gonna see what happens if I grab it from uh from the screen, you know. You see a Ron Perlman? Oh, yeah, yeah, I still see it. I still see it. No problem. But are hopefully, you Ron Perlman? Better now. I am. I am Ronathan. Oh, so you're Ron Perlman's yeah. son? Yeah. All right. That makes a lot more sense. He's gonna activate the Hellboy trait. Let's see what happens here. Oh, so this is, is this an audio issue on my end? All right, I'm ending the stream. <laughs> now, yeah, the score's, it, the score's causing a lot of issues on my PC when I have this thing running. All right, hopefully, hopefully we'll just get this all sorted for the next match. Yeah, all right, Ron Perlman, it's your fault. Ron Perlman, right now, the start of this third game, though, Loki is really starting to find some success with Hellboy. No he may have hit the download button, Destroyer. 
One thing about Hellboy I gotta mention is I love the way his tail curls up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now now that I mentioned the tail, I, I kind of can't get my eyes off of it. My goodness, Destroyer. Did you see the damage there from Gopa with Batman? I do not see that in the competitive setting often. And the, the back two, three gonna land, tying up these rounds. Those health bars are completely the exact same right now. The chip damage to start things off. Gopa gonna find some openings. All right, Ooh, so what I'm getting here is Loki is finally ascending, finally realizing how he needs to deal with Batman. Wow, that <laughs> mix-up was nasty, bro. You're gonna hit him with a back three, the jump kick right to the photo. A lean 41% there. Loki Disgusting. is finding his groove. Okay, push blocks. That meter burn forward oh. three. Try to go for the air grab. I'm not sure what he was expecting. He wanted an anti-air into the air grab. I, it, it was, uh, I think he was just a little late on the whole thing. He's jumping around and flying around now. There's the trade activation. This yeah. essentially gives him what? armor, but he still takes hits and damage. I was going to say, you know, even though you get that trade activated, you got to be very careful because a character like Batman, he always has a safety net ready to, to be deployed, a.k.a. That's the right. bat trait, you know? Those, right. li those little fucking bat traits are are game changer in Injustice 2. Smart stuff too as well. Bro, that this movement! Oh, no. What's Nita happening? Burn off the up the air battle rank and the wow. down two into trade no clash from loki and he's gonna lose the set unfortunately Man, holy cowzers stop this fucking discord stream immediately <laughs> holy before cowzers, my man, goddamn no stream loud. explodes yo spanky doodle stop the music spanky i'm gonna tell you right now spanky doodle I don't know if it's you causing all these problems with the fucking stream but you better get this shit sorted out or else i'm gonna fire you and we're gonna get your goddamn cousin working in the back all right <laughs> you son of a bitch you son of a bitch all right yo let's try to let's try to do this whole format a bit differently um if you could do me the biggest favor caboose and let these guys know we're gonna create a room it's gonna be called cotr i and j now okay. i know a lot of you freaking dickheads like to join these fucking rooms and, and and cause even more mishaps for us so this is just one thing i ask for if you are not a part of the tournament Stay the fuck away from the room. Running. Thank the heavens. Yo. Akio versus Forever King. Yep. Okay, so Forever King, obviously a legend in the scene, a veteran with the Batman. Who is he? Who's Forever King? Forever King. He's the king forever. You may remember as well, even going back to like Injustice Gods Among Us, he was rocking the Batman. So he has experience with this character. And Enchantress is a character that we saw Akio talk a lot about when we had a chance to speak to him. He really loves I this know, character, exactly. so let's see how this goes. But you need Zatanna. I'm excited, bro. This was the fastest match we got yet, <laughs> and the vibes just upped a lot. I'm gonna have oh, to get myself that fucking Damascus controller now. Oh, yo, the Damascus controller from Scuff. I love it. Okay, here we go. Good start right now. Try to go for a bit of a reset, Forever King. Oh, the staggers. Nice from Akio. The staggers from Akio was looking pretty damn clean. Wow! Avoiding the back grapple. Did you just see that beautiful read? Dude, and I gotta God say, like. one thing about this character, uh, what's, what's this, Enchantress? I love yep. how she looks so primal when she goes on her, her crouch. She's like a little savage. For sure. What the Trying hell? To get that meter Bro. Forward three. He okay, just, there we go. Akio just walked through the forward three. Did you see that? He you literally know, just walked God through like it. Set up there from Akio with the traits. Oh, okay. And then activates the spell. Four, wow. three, which you can control the distance on there. That's one of the special things that Enchantress has in her arsenal. Incredible stuff from Akio here in the first game. That was beautiful. Oh, that trait, or sorry, that projectile parry is so solid. Really provides a lot of options for Akio to control the space. Yeah, and, and, and one thing I want to mention, one thing I want to mention about this tournament, Caboose, is, uh, you know, these players had the bracket about a week in advance. So they, they had their time to really grind these matchups and see what's going to be the best option to go into this battle. Wow, did you see that low poke set up there from Akio? That was what nasty. He's going like crazy good. right now, bro. We're Cancels to see some really into throws. The whole nine yards. Akio's just ascending into god tier status. Kind of forever king, though. Off that down two into the air. Batarang to take that first health bar out. 
You know, yeah, That's like great. you said, bro, don't count out Forever King. Batman <laughs> is the type of character that gets one touch in and just erases your life bar. I mean, you play the fucking character. You know all about that shit. 100%. 100%. Big stuff there, though, from Akio. Gotta be really careful now if you're Forever King. He does have a full stick of butter. Whoa! Four, three gonna land. And the cross-up. There's not really gonna be any Wait, 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 wait. Forever King has to pretty much play perfectly. Watch out for the trade. And there we go. Akio will take game one. I think, actually, that could have been classic. But there wasn't a lot of help there for Forever King to work with. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, Accio really proven to be a problem here. I don't know if Forever King is just, you know, a little unknowledgeable with the matchup or what the case may be. But hopefully he tightens things up and can turn this around. Because we're here to see some good fucking matches. Enchantress. No doubt about it, Destroyer. Wait a second. Oh, okay, I thought we were about to see a Superman pick. Man. I thought oh, he was going to be like, this isn't competitive. Hey, okay, Forever King going to switch the wardrobe. That's another thing I love about this game. You know, uh, having access to switch through your, your different gear and shit, I, I think it was implemented perfect in this game as well. I agree. I think that's awesome as well. You can essentially make your own honest, skins and your own Batman? loadouts and shit. Left out some important details. Yo, he we really... need this gear system back. Bro, is this the Mr. Aquaman Batman? He's got a full fucking mustache in the, in the mask. <laughs> you saw that shit? Oh, the low. Try to get the overhead, but that forward three it has some weird uh, forward moving property to it. Okay, try to get that cross up. Good blocks there for Forever King. Gets caught by the neutral jump though. Oh, meter burns the upwards batarang, which does land. That was sick. Oh, Activates the, uh, the batarang. The trait is in place, so this is going to open him up for a... Oh, Wait, what was my. that? He, he punished there off the air escape, and he got those extra hits in. Forever King now dominating off this first health bar. Has the trait out, looking to chip. Watch out for the projectile parry. Keeps himself in the air, avoids that forward three. The spell's been cast. What does that spell do again? It doesn't allow him to jump, huh? I can't remember. I think that's the one that doesn't allow you to jump. If, if he jumps, he takes one. damage, I think. No, there's one where it's just oh. weird circles around I don't his know. head. And like without the triangles and shit, that's the one where you take damage if you crouch or if you jump. Oh. So yeah, she's got I different can't... spells for different situations. Interesting. Because, because, and, it's, and it's all RNG as well. You can't shoot instead of the Midwest box so. Wowzers. I mean, Wowzers the pressure oh. right now from Akio is looking devastating, but... Forever King was such a massive life lead. This is going to be very difficult for Akio to make that comeback. Oh, he uses it. the it interactable. Just, yeah, that it, corner interactable was devastating for it, Akio. Is it is it multi-use? Is that interactable in the corner multi-use? Like, as in you can use it more than once? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh my we god. Saw, uh, we saw Forever King was able to use that a couple of times, actually. So he's abusing that shit at this point. Yeah, and there's that trade just threatening the zombie running across the screen. Oh, nicely wow. done. Increasing the range on the forward three to land this combo. Spawning that spell and meter burning it for almost 50% damage. Holy Incredible. cow. That's what we like to see here. No. Oh my God, the read on Forever King catches him on the startup of the fist. I'm, a, I'm about to just call that shit Malboja. That's the Malboja yeah. attack. Yeah. And, and Akio couldn't even clash as he was at a meter deficit against Forever King. Okay, wait a second. Look at the cross up. He landed the hit. Wait, Destroyer, there's the trade. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely possible. Akio can make this comeback. There, Dude. that is the pair. That is the um the spell. So notice he kept he kept on spamming the spell because Forever King was backdashing, avoiding it. I just now realized that That's there right. is so much crazy shit okay. going on here. Has to clash here to Black save magic. himself from losing. He's I not gonna bet any meter. Neither is Forever King. Oh, Forever King's in a bet. Wow, that's he like. Didn't need to do that. I know he was already at critical. Oh, he didn't bet the meter because he needed the, the. This is gonna not take. He doesn't take damage from this. He'll lose oh, meter. Oh no! Wait, he still and died there though. It is. I think you don't take chip damage off of that. Oh. But unfortunately, it gets hit. And we're tied up, Destroyer. One to one in the set. That was a crazy back and forth. That was both these characters and these competitors using everything in their character's arsenal. Yeah, we dude. We saw spells, we saw traits, we saw interactables, setups, resets, restands, combos. That was them running the Hypos, She would in the whole nine yards. That was everything you could have possibly so asked for. Malboja. Oh, 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 listen, Malboja is obviously helping uh, Enchantress here because we see his arm popping up pretty frequently during this matchup.
So let's see I what happens. Fucking hate clowns. Batman. Enchantress. Why is fun here? Who like Keith David in the studio? <laughs> they always show up, man. Every time they hear Champions of the Realms is in, in town, they fucking pull up. Keith David literally showed up in his Lambo, and this man just couldn't get enough oh of it. Oh my god. I fucking hate Enchantress. Begin. Oh my god. Wow. This? That's fucked up. I think the character is awesome. The beautiful down two into the interactable with the back three confirmed. The damage is relentless. I'm liking the way he's just like putting himself at, at such a great oh, advantage, no. utilizing every spell like you said previously, man. Akio is the Enchantress specialist. No doubt, but I, I agree. I, I like that you pointed that out. Those back dashes are for everything so key to avoid any spell activation. Oh, gets whip punished big time here. Here into the back of the bounce. Big combo wow, now yeah. set up with the trait. Holy shit, bro. 42% and he's got the demon. Did you see the Oki set up with that? Yeah. I mean, hey, he's got it in his name, right? <laughs> you are not lying about that. Oh my goodness, this combo has been going on since 1973. The 4-3 wow. cross up into the corner Forever King. Gonna continue the damage and the onslaught. Gonna continue the pipo. You couldn't have said it any better. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yo. The meter burn off that air battery. Genius. So punishing. Oh, oh to the armor. Oh, this is a fucking goodness. battle to the death right now. Is Agio gonna close this out? How much damage are we looking at? The reset. <laughs> oh, reset taking it home. And she did some exorcist shit right there, bro. We gotta get fucking Constantine up in here if she's gonna be okay. twisted and turning like that. Back two, three for Forever shit. King. He's trying to battle out of this corner right now as he ties up the health bars. A meter burn forward three is not going to land, but Akio had the right idea. And that interactable in the corner has it's, multiple usages. It's me, Akio. It's me, Mario. <laughs> All right, nicely I done the clash from Forever bad. King. This I man turned like fucking Akio into Mario out of nowhere, bro. I got to leave oh, after that one. I got to leave it. Oh, oh, my God. Now Mario's in the studio, the real Mario. Man. Fuck, where's Luigi? Where the fuck Let's is Luigi? Luigi! Can't him... you see you have no chance? Whoa! So far, back. What the? What is going on right now? Alright, Clash tied there. Akio didn't want to spend the bar. Gets caught by the jump in though, and this is going to be good damage for Forever King. Looking for the restand. For the reset, sorry. He's got to be careful here. Oh, the, that could have been a dangerous cross up, but King blocking the like correct the direction. Tigers. I like these staggers. Gotta watch out for that upward why, battering. Why did I hear? I thought you said you like these tigers. I, like, what I do the like. Fuck are you talking I do about? like titanium tigers. You know. <laughs> Damn, Forever King's making some noise right now. I truly think Akio can make this okay. comeback. He's gonna activate go. this uh, shit that did nothing for him last round. Let's see if this helps out this time. He's gonna avoid the chip damage this way. No, okay, dude. Armor, I, I think that's that gonna be it. I, I, I had Akio playing in the set the other day, and that doesn't just avoid uh, chip damage. It avoids full-on damage altogether. There's no way. There's no way. Chat, we need a confirmation, chat. We need a confirmation, chat. Chat, chat. if I'm right, if I'm right, everybody in the chat's gotta call Destroyer a piece of shit. Oh, well, okay. You know, how about this? I got a better idea. Well, wait. If Caboose is right, you got to give me 10 subs. Batman. And if I'm what? And, and if what? I'm right, and if I'm right, you got to give me 20 subs. What do you think oh, about that one? Oh, we were both wrong. We were both wrong. What did they say? Approaching Cause, cause, uh, no, I was right. Fuck out of here. You don't take hey, damage at all. You. I was we were right. Wrong. We I was were both fucking wrong. right. Because no, it changes no, your no, health. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, no, no. Mustard wait, and ketchup. Wait, tell him how it wait, is. Wait, tell wait, him how it is. Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, hold on. It, it, it changes the, your health to your meter. Listen, listen, a deal's a deal. 10 gifted, 20 gifted is motherfucking September. No, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. This guy wants me to go bankrupt. <laughs> you know what's one thing that's pretty weird that we haven't seen yet? A stage transition. Do you think we'll ever see one throughout this entire know. tournament? I feel like it's one of those things that isn't usually worth the damage unless you're trying to get a It's not. And another thing about stage transitions is a majority of the time it oh actually no listen a majority of the time with stage transitions if your trait is like a millisecond to being complete that stage transition will most likely reset it back to zero if I'm not mistaken. 
I, I believe you are correct about that. Down to anti right now from Akio, so, who's got to make a bit of a comeback. Oh, nicely done. Gets the trait to connect oh. for big damage. Is he going to go for any interaction? No, not going to go for the stage transition. Activates the spell, though, and that is the one that does damage when you crouch or jump. Beautiful oh, stuff nicely here. Nicely done, and Damn. what a conversion there. He the breaks slide. away, he gets hit with the cross-up, not like this. Forever King is going crazy with the Batman right now. He's absolutely going mad with this character. The backdash is avoiding those spells. Wrong interactable to use there. <laughs> he threw all of them. Oh, okay. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. oh, he did not need to go for another forward three there. He should have just gone for a big combo to try and close up the health bar. This what? is gonna hurt now. This Bro, is gonna hurt he now. He stopped him on the startup of the spell. You hate to see it. Oh, Akio, man. he's gonna be being, being okay. put in the situation where he has to do a monumental comeback. Can he do this? He's pretty much got to climb Mount Everest, no doubt about it. But at the same time, he still has Clash available, and he's still tied up on the meter with Forever King. There are options, and there are certainly opportunities. Wait a second now. I believe. Oh, I believe. the air projectile. Get the jump Wait in. Wait Avoid the parry. Destroyer, hold on. If I was Akio. king, if I was king, I would have clashed right there. This is looking very scary. He's got a clash, and he's got to oh, not spend shit. any meter Black here. Akio magic. has to hold that in order to you. get that meter saved. Exactly as that. That's going to take place. 50% damage done. Forever King, no. Oh, my I don't know what God. happened there. King was just making these immaculate reads on the startups of, of her moves. Because if, if there was one thing I can call out that's a, that's a really big downfall about this uh, Enchantress, is notice, you know, her spells take a good minute to start up. Like, a, a lot of her special attacks has crazy startup frames. And I feel like King was just making incredible reads on that. He was calling them out every single time. And, you know, once, once Batman touches you, bro... It's just damage into mix into Shivitan into Bipo. No? No. We just no. had the unreal announcer fucking say holy shit, so <laughs> he, he cut me off, unfortunately. He fucking oh, cut man. me off. God, fuck you. Sorry, sorry. God. You had to just, you know, fucking being on time, being on their A game, and just getting this shit rolling. But next match underway, we got Gur going up against Mason the Moo Cow. Again, I got to mention it, man. This was a matchup that Gur was fearing. So let's yep. see if he can overcome this matchup here. No doubt about it. Here we go. Game one about to be underway between Gur and Mason. The wonders of a He said, I am Ron Perlman. Wait, what? Wait. Why did Brainiac say that? No, this is weird. Why, Air dashes. Ooh, why, the why would Brainiac say he's Ron Perlman? And Gurr gonna get things started. Wanna get that meter burn forward three. Wasn't able to though and missed an opportunity to potentially punish. Nice air to air. Gurr starting things off pretty if, well here. If you remember correctly, Caboose, was that trait uh, answer to his uh, uh, his air dive? It might be. Holy shit. Oh, there's the grab. Was he, he was gonna try tag. he was gonna try to go for a forward three and just like that, Gurr interrupting it. Hold on. Mason right now. Looking like a motherfucking moon cow flying like all over the place. Sweep from Gur right now. Okay, and he gets the low off the trait. This could be chip, but wait a second. That is a lot of recovery when you use Holy. that trait. And Mason's gonna take complete advantage Damn. of that. The oh, the interactable usage. beautiful stuff coming from Gur. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what as well, Caboose. If Gur ends up overcoming this matchup, I feel like his confidence, his motivation is gonna get boosted to the top, bro. Not about it. Okay, big hits from Mason there, who's got to play catch up and try and eliminate that first health bar. He's been in the air for three years now, Destroyer. Okay, the ground front connects into forward three. He wanted to get the continuation on the combo. This is sort of becoming constellation damage now for Gur. Oh, the instant dive kick. You and said he's constipated? Oh, he shit. Is constipated. He threw that right and at his that's face. Gonna tie up the, or just about tie up the round. Mason. Still lower on the life, but not by that much. Yeah, he's oh, flying all over the place right now, man. Catches him with the back three, puts him on the ground. Let's see what Mason's got here. Working on a massive comeback. This is still game number one, hard to believe. Because Gur was fucking... Dude, Gur had a massive life lead a couple seconds ago. So to see Mason take the life lead 
is kind of scary here. Oh my goodness. Okay, but wait a second. Here's the big advantage for Gur right now. He has a full stick of butter, a lot of health that he can gain back through Clash. You say he's butters from South Park? He is butters. Yeah, that's right. This is motherfucking oh butters. I can't believe it. Oh no, that hurts quite a bit. Gur. Really low on life. Okay, nice teleport to avoid that unblockable interactable. But wait a sec, the jump in. Mason takes the first game kind of out of nowhere. Oh, Caboose, if you could be so kind, let Shark and Akio, let them know to play their match off stream. They're, they're loser round one. Let them know to play off stream. Uh, losers round two will not be played. We're going to be streaming losers round two. Those will be the matches to get them into top eight, I believe. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will. Wait, who won that? Mason got game number one there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Mason taking game number one. By the way, I just want to mention, I hope everybody's enjoying the production we put on for uh, for you all, because, you know, this is the best Champions of the, Champions of the Realms has looked so far. Me and Caboose, we put a lot of time and effort to get this shit looking sexy for y'all, and we hope you're all enjoying the show, the action, and the set. Whoa, whoa, whoa don't say that. Yo. Oh, hold on. Big combo there, though, from Mason. Use the background bounce, setting up trade as well. That's another key component to Brainiac as a character is that trait, getting it out there where you can. Oh, nice dive kick. <laughs> oh, that's a Bro, full where the hell, combo. where the hell is that dive kick from? From the game, dive kick. You never played it? Are you trolling me? Oh, you, have you never heard of dive kick? I've never heard of dive kick. You gotta search this game up. It's so hype. I feel like these guys fucking with me right now. You know you what? No, I I'm, I'm, ending, I'm ending the stream. Sorry, that's Yo, Kotokan, take over. You don't impress me. You don't impress me. You don't impress me. You don't impress me. Tell this guy the story about dive kick. Nicely done. And the hit in the air. But wait a sec. Now the trait gonna connect for Gur. Gets caught by the dive kick again. Has to clash to get a little bit of life back. He's got to close out this first health bar for Mason. Well, let's see what happens. How much meter is... Oh, he has no meter to use there. That was a perfect opportunity for Gur to go for the clash. Going to get some HP back. But man, look how Mason is chipping away at this life bar. He's going to have a slight advantage in the life lead here. So let's see what happens if Gur can turn this around. Oh, beautiful oh, that setup. Was that was clean. And Gur right You're now forces the clash out of Mason. I was just about to say that the one advantage down. Mason has here is the fact that he has the clash over Gur, but now he's had to use it. And Gur spent the meter where Mason didn't. I'm not entirely sure what the decision making was there, but now Gur's got quite a life lead. Wait, what about Gerson? Gerson's in the tournament? Over time, Gur takes a big hit though, and now here's gonna be a combo. Oh my god! Gur, a back Yo, jack that was clean! What did you see Mason. the read from Mason to avoid that shit? God. That was God tier. He's gonna turn into oh the Adam, and that's gonna open him up. Gurr taking it, tying things up one apiece, overcoming the unbearable matchup. And look at this. He's gonna put the atoms together and thought. Wait, what? <laughs> the, the ending. <laughs> it skipped through. What the, the outro. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible in this game. I thought they forced you to watch that shit. What just happened? They skipped through the outro. We can't watch it anymore. They say, yo, destroy. Fuck you. They said, what? He's going to do the outro. What? Fuck you. I just love you going, bah! And then you go, wait, oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> I was waiting for the explosion, bro. <laughs> it, it never came. Motherfuckers. They got me. They fucking oh, no. got me. Off the recovery there from the trade. Mason opens Gur up to land a big combo. That was juicy. Nice teleport there to punish. Oh my goodness. The meter burn off the dive kick is so useful. Switching sides there for Mason to land the hit. Beautiful, man. And another thing that, that everyone needs to take into consideration regarding uh, Injustice 2 is the simple fact that down ones confirm into specials. You know, that's something that took me a lot of getting used to because if you're playing Injustice 2 and you're not utilizing those down one confirms, then that's going to hurt you in the long run, man. Because you're going to hurt me? No, never. But oh, hey, whoa, hey, hey, we got it. it. Send him to the helicopter. For Champions of the Realms Injustice 2, that's 40% damage for Mason. Interactable is tossed. 
You know, Gurr trying to set up here. He does have a full stick of butter, so again, a lot of opportunity to gain some health packs, and just in general, a lot of meter to land combos like this one. They're gonna go for a setup. Ooh. He's meter burn forward three. Good block there, though, from Mason. He's trying to catch him slipping here. Yo, the fucking Brainiac ship coming out of nowhere, stopping oh. Gurr in his pressure. Look at the aerial mobility on Brainiac. You thought fucking Jackie Briggs was annoying? I think Brainiac is a top contender. Oh, shit. Look at this, bro. Bouncing around, dive kicking everywhere. Okay, Whoa! a meter burn back three gonna connect for sure. And there's another stage transition. We're going right back to the top of the theater. Let's see now, can Gurr make the comeback of a lifetime? It's pretty hard, it's gonna be pretty difficult, but he does have Clash available. Bro, a this- tiny hits you, and maybe you, can activate. You couldn't have said it any better. This is literally gonna be the comeback of a lifetime if he makes this happen. Oh, no, but the dive kicks are gonna chip him out. Mason taking the lead in this first of five set, going up two to one. Best of five, sorry. I'm too, too used to hosting first of five. Yeah, yeah. Brainiac's one of those characters similar to, to some characters in MK11 where that dive kick and the threat of it being meter burned sometimes keeps you in a position where you're safe off of doing just a regular dive kick being hit on block. Meiosis! My Meiosis! My sorry, sorry. What was that? Well, who, who did that? Is that Mythosis? Who said that? You said you were Mythosis? Who the fuck said that? Approaching conduct. All right, getting into the next game here. Could be the potential the final match. Pipo. Getting Pipo. to the next shield and Pipo. Lag spikes are starting to plague the, the, the match. I don't know what the fuck's happening. These two are literally breaking the Injustice 2 servers with this epic battle here. No! No, the ship stopped the back three, bro. That was so fucked up right there. Grr. Oh my God, the interact will knock him out of the tray. Everything just going haywire right now. Bro, come on, what is this fucking flying in the air all day? <laughs> what is happening? He doesn't oh, touch oh, the oh, ground oh. at all. He goes for the meter and back three, but he was out of range. He ate the armor too. That would have been a nice combo for Gert to land. Missed the opportunity. And right now, Mason is going to continue that onslaught. Going to get those hits in the dive kick into that down one conversion. Beautiful stuff there. Meter burns the interactable, but it's not going to work out. And in fact, allows Gert an opportunity to open him up. Can Gurr make this comeback? No, gets caught in the air. Mason now match point. I think he can make this happen. I really do. Oh, absolutely. If there's anybody who can make this happen, it's Gurr. Two, four, three, wow. though. Wow. Keeping it unclassable, bro. This guy knows what he's doing. Did you he just was see in that? The air the bro. And got caught. That is so unfortunate. Now Gurr is forced to clash. And Caboose was crazy about it. Is that down two was probably the only down two that would have knocked him out of the trait like that. Because Brainiac's down two has the weirdest property to cover the entire fucking screen. Yeah, it's a big area of effect. Goes with a double down one. Trying to look for a confirm potentially or maybe just a right Dagger. read. Oh no, Gurr gets caught by the dive kick, has to air escape to avoid that back three. Gets the low to connect, okay. Here we go, trade combo now. That was a beautiful stagger. Oh, that's gonna be a whip punch. Punish. Okay, Gurr now with an opportunity, gets caught by the throw. Oh though, no. Unfortunate. And you he know, gets the sweep, he gets the sweep. This is do or die time now for Gurr. Really good sweep, but what's so bad about it, man, is when your opponent has such a, like a slither of life left and they just start dealing so much damage to you, oh, that shit is goodness. tilting, bro. Oh my goodness, and that long reaching low, Mason takes the set three to one. Wow. And look at that. He's going to send his minions to the forward of the screen, and that's going to be all she wrote. Beautiful, beautiful performance right there from both parties. Gurr, not out of it just yet. No, he sir. is going to be getting sent down to the lower bracket, but I must say, you know, he, he actually showed a, a lot of fucking po uh, potential against a matchup that is pretty bad for Adam. So... Definitely not out of this yet, man. Gonna get sent down to the loser side. Hopefully he can turn things around. Who do we have yeah, next? Man. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Basically is what this next match is gonna be. Next match, we got 
Bane Legend, Biohazard, gonna be going up against Huang! Are we, uh, are we making another live? I'm going crazy, Green, right? Yo, yo, I'm again, going crazy with that shit, right? System, speaking of the gear system, Gerson? Lantern, Gerson has some of the craziest gear in the game. They let you change all the different lantern colors with the chest pieces and the shaders and shit. He is such a sick character to customize in Injustice 2. I'm telling you, bring it back. You if said this he's is a, Injustice 3 on the way. He's a shithead? I want to see this gear system back. Yeah, here we go. No, okay. no Shathid is the right shithead. Now. What are you talking about? Shathid is the shithead. Game 1 underway. And starting things off was Biohazard, but now Huang is going to get some good hits in as well. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. Breaks through the armor, though. Good stuff from Huang. Not going to get through that. The charge and the armor. This is what's so key about Bane as a character, is his ability to just armor through, power through some hits. But when that trade is deactivated, especially if you use all, all three levels, you could be taking a ton of damage yourself. That's a big whiff punish now from Wang. Get some good hits in. Using the background bounce. That could be the health bar, and it will be Damn. 42%. Incredible usage of resources there from Wang. I mean, listen, Caboose, I know you may be thinking I'm fucking gassing these players up, but when you oh, see no. this dude's Green Lantern get to work, you might possibly shit your pants. I already have. I needed to change him in the middle of this match. <laughs> Bio right now, waiting for the perfect we'll opportunity to catch him with oh. the Bane sauce, the juice. Okay, he's activating that trade, keeping Whoa. it alive. Oh, he goes, does he go all three levels on that? I think he did, Destroyer. Oh, the oh mirror, my four, God. three, oh into my another God. one. That's two hits. Why did that do so much damage, bro? Okay, but here's the dangerous part now. He's straight on debuff. He could be taking a ton of damage himself, but now he's back to normal. Dude, look at the patience on Biohazard just stepping back, blocking oh, everything Wang has to send in his way. Yeah, that back three was pretty what nutty. Hey, that's going to do it. Oh, my! I don't know what was oh, happening. If Wang was looking for a setup of some kind or a reset, but he really didn't commit to anything after getting that meter burn back three. That could have been huge. And game one now going to go to Biohazard well, with the Bane. What I saw there was, you know, Green Lantern, he, I think he has one of the better back threes. You know, it covers a lot of range, and especially when you meter burn it, eating that, that free hit of armor, taking that free hit, it, it turns that back three into a very, very problematic move. So what I saw was Wayne was just like trying to fish something out from Biohazard, but, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be tough because Bio is a veteran of the trade. This man's been playing Bane for God knows how long. So you got to watch out with this dude. Begin. Not about it. Okay, starting things off immediately. Hey. That back one, always one of the most threatening starts to a match because of the range. Dude, what it looked like to me, I, I think Bio tried to start the match off with probably a down one into uh into the fucking whatchamacallit. Oh, the interactable. Yeah. Good stuff. He's gonna whip the attack. Goes oh. with another back three, but the elbow drops straight to the dome. Charges nice. to his face. Back what, three. I what I tell you about that back three? It's nuts. Oh, and kicks him right in the elbow head. Drop. The people's elbow gets shut down. And Wang starting things off real well here in the second game. But here Dude, comes the command grab oh my, the into the RKO. Slams. This man's going Oh my god, the power bomb! This is looking like a WWE match. Motherfucking Big Show versus Rey Mysterio at this point. <laughs> yeah, that is what Bio does with Bane here. Next thing you know, after a couple of command grabs, Whoa. you've lost your entire this health bar. A forced clash here as Wang would have lost a lot of health. Has to bet the two meter, get that 25% life back. Trying to find something now. Bro, okay, this is nerve wracking. I'm eating my fucking fingernails right now, Caboose. Help me! I think this is a smart decision from Bio as well to go for the clash immediately. Otherwise, that could have led to some serious damage. We oh, got the drop kick. Yep. The drop kick for 15% HP right back to the health bar. Oh. Wang Phoenix just swinging for the stars right now. Dude, this match is so crazy. All the animals got fucking paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> They're all stuck. I like that there from Bio, the air escape, and then find some openings now. The meter. Okay, wait a second. He's on debuff. This is going to hurt big time destroyer. Oh, big time indeed. Slam him tall. Oh, Ragdoll in the dude right now. Goodness. That damage was insane. 7%. Wait. 
dashing in his what? face and went for a meter burn forward three. Watch the elbow drop in the Wait. armor. RKO out of nowhere, oh my God. destroyer. He goes for the shoulder charge. Oh my God. He can't I get can't watch. The projectile oh, and the jump back. back. Hwang stays alive in a threatening scenario to tie this set up. And look at that. He's fucking doing the John Rambo. He said, Adrian! 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 <laughs> I be should have said that at the end, right? I'm your worst nightmare. I'm your worst nightmare. I'm your worst nightmare. I'm your I'm your worst. I'm your worst. I'm your nightmare. Your worst. Your worst nightmare. Nightmare. Oh shit! Is that the John Rambo remix? Hold up. Your worst. Your worst night. Nightmare. Nightmare. Okay. Okay. They're gonna drop that on the next Drake. <laughs> Certified lover boy is featured on that. <laughs> Featuring John Rambo. Featuring Jonathan Rambo. Bro, the pressure from Wayne Phoenix is looking relentless. He literally pressured him all the way to the left side of the screen, but one power bomb is gonna turn the tides of battle. Slams him to the left side again. <laughs> Bio just running out of the corner, literally. Just taking a step back here. Ooh. He's gonna roll in there. Very smart there, activating the training going for the projectile immediately, because it looks like he's in a position to be punished, but tossing that projectile saves him. Watch out for the jump back, and the elbow drop from hell. That elbow drop is so oh. insane, dude. Just, just the fact that, it, you know, like, if the Bane player is managing those, uh, what, what do you call it, the vials, the serums? Yep. The venom? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it, Speaking of Venom, let there be carnage. Big combo there from Wang. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I'm not gonna lie. Now he's tossing fucking kegs of beer at this dude. He said, drink up! Drink up! Just waiting very patiently. Wang Phoenix knows that if he gets up in that face, it's gonna be a big problem. Boom! Fucking snaps his neck, puts him in the corner, and the charge of death takes Totinsky. the round. The Totinsky of the, of the gods takes the round. <laughs> Look at so that. Wanted the low into Bro. command grab. Talk about the tick throws on Bane. They're so scary. Bane. This World big clash now from Huang. He wants to shut down that pressure and as well, wants to potentially push Biohazard towards the corner. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Just taking a step back here. Nice He's waiting for the perfect the opportunity. Up. What's it gonna be, Bio? The elbow jump with the forward three remix! Yo, these two are Not fighting, bro. Like. These two are fucking fighting. Oh, no. What, he just he posed for the camera? The elbow drop and are you sure? The wrong direction, and that was a big I'm punish there. Up. Bio now forced the clash, spending two meters, getting some life back. It kind of looked like he tried to strike a pose for the cameraman. Oh, he might have. Oh, that could have been a whip punish. It kind of was. Yeah, again, dude, the down pokes into the confirm. Something you <laughs> must be utilizing in Injustice 2. If not, I'm banning you from the next tournament. Okay, nicely done. The uppercut, wake up, and the low connects now. There is no clash, but a breakaway. Oh my it God. doesn't matter. I think he's it dead. Gets shut down, and I think that is Yeah, the meter well. into the back three, back right three. to the nuts, and that's going to be all she wrote. Huang Phoenix going up two to one on Bane. This is a bloodbath, a back and forth if I've ever seen one. Have we gone to a first, or have we gone to a game five? Oh, have we gone to a game five yet? It is I mean, hey, I don't, I, I don't, man, we, it, we, how slow this shit's running, I don't think we can afford a fucking game <laughs> five. Let this shit be three O's across the board, I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. Well, going into the next battle here, Wayne Phoenix sitting real comfortable in a 2-1 lead. Bio, however, hasn't been falling too short in these matches, you know, it's kind of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They're, they're going to like the final reads type shit. So let's see if he can just close this out. Oof, that's gonna be a big punish. Kinda taking a step that blows up the armor. The fast hitting strings from uh, from Green Lantern are, are proven to be problematic for Bane. Not about it, here we go. The trade has been activated. Command Grab City, Tombstone Pile Driver. Another one. Oh my God. He goes for it again. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Like, come on, dude. It's Bane, bro. <laughs> Batman's gonna be totally pissed, man. 
Look at the damage. The debuff in between rounds is kind of exactly what you want as a Bane player, but still, the debuff is there. So there's not going to be a lot of damage being dished out I know. from Biohazard. <laughs> Power driving for 85. 8% <laughs> damage there off that boss. That, was, okay, uh, that was a little sad right there. I'm not going to lie. Is this, is this Bane or he passed the control? What happened? No. Yo, not like this, dude. You know, one thing Bio, like, with a life lead such as the one he just had a moments ago, it's just mind blowing the way Huang turns the tides of battle, dude. He's already. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Because Bane literally touches you one time and you fucking. Oh my god. Oh, oh, 84? Debuff, debuff is kind of saving Huang right now this from taking a ton of damage. Protected. Yeah, that would have fucked him up right there. Out, but Huang has to go for this flash, get some life back and try to chip out this health bar. This is not good. He's got to close it out, and he does with the back one. Oof. You got to want it more. Dude, how the hell do we have Bane on the screen and we haven't had a single Caboose Bane impression? I'm kind of pissed. And I will throw so bad right now. Oh my goodness, Destroyer and the Backbreaker to close it out. Biohazard sends us to our first game five. You wanted it, bro. You Bane. wanted it, they gave it to you right there. Oh yeah. Yo, Bane. Bane, can I ask you? Are they gonna put you in Injustice 3? Yes, I will. Yes, I will be in the game. Bane. Now, let me ask you another question, Bane. From a scale oh, 1 to 10, how much do you enjoy Vex Milk? Oh, I drink Vex Milk all day. Fighters <laughs> approaching. I can't believe it. Bane's a, he's a big fan. <laughs> oh, fucking weak. Oh, my <laughs> God. Begin. This is, the, nice throw. this is the, the possible final game here, bro. Well, it is the final game right now. Game five between Wang no. and Bio. I, Wang it, Red. Whoever wins this, I'm extending it into a first to ten. <laughs> 40% off that combo. Watch out for the train activation. Gets the back one. Slams him on the ground. Is he going to catch him, man? Thalma puts him right back into all these different... Oh, my God. I... What is this fucking combo, bro? Two faces in that cage saying, chill. Yeah! Bro, this is such an oh catches the back row that was clean! Is that that? The fucking stomp to the back of the spine! Wow. Biohazard taking the lead here. Needs one more life bar to advance in this tournament, this top 16 bloodbath. Yeah, bro. Bane, Bane's dropping bars right now. What the fuck? He threw the fucking shitter at him, bro. <laughs> he threw the fucking shitter at his face. His fucking Bane. human feces all over Bane's face now. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That's Yo, what is it? Bane making a nice. mixtape right now? Background bounce Bane, there. Look at the Bane's combo. making a fucking mixtape. Destroyer, look at this right now. 50% off that combo. Biohazard Bro. still has the oh, clash he's available. That. Even How did he How? do that? Yeah, How did he? That is, that is textbook Biohazard. Pull up oh my fucking god. Shit like that. He's got meter to, to clash. Did he use the clash already? I'm not too sure. What indicates that they use the clash yet? The, the, the shield next to the name. You see it there? You see it next to Biohazard's level? And oh, there we go. The forward three. God. Biohazard takes it and he goes, Oh, yes, wait, wait, yo, Spanky, no, no, stop the music, Spanky. Bane, can you say that one more time? I'm Bane. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> I'm the goat. Hey, well, you buy one, yo, Bane's really feeling himself right now. Yeah, what a fucking savage. Dude, that was <laughs> the craziest match we've had so far. I'm sweating bullets. I'm sweating bullets. Um, shit. When, when the fuck? Are, are we almost done here? Are these matches? How many more do we have for a hey, round? My bad. My bad. Hey, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Yo, Mortal Cut, take over the comms. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Impress me. Impress me. Wait, 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 wait. 
You don't impress me. Wait, 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 wait. You don't impress me. You don't impress me. You don't impress me. You don't impress me. Yo, Koro is pissed. I think you fucked up. Koro is pissed, bro. Begin. All right, here we go. Game one about to be underway. Tweety was kind of the last man standing for Injustice 2 toward the end of its run. And here he is with that Starfire Swamp King, aptly named, rocking at the Swamp Thing. Yo, you been with the bars all day today, huh? Yes, you sir. motherfucker, you, you wise guy. And remember how I told you I was doing a little uh, recon intel on the players before we got this stream started? Bro, yeah. when I say Swamp King was grinding for this matchup, yo, Swamp King was grinding for this let matchup. Me, let me just tell you the, the setup Holy that Swamp King just ran there before our very eyes. It was activates disgusting. The trait, activates the trait and then meter burn rolls across the screen, leaving Tweety without the ability to jump. Oh. And having a Bro. lot of space where he can. Did you just see what happened? He push blocked him into the corner. Catches him with a down two. Tweety forced to go off a clash here because Swamp Thing hits like a truck. He said, 420 blaze it, bitch. During that clash. Very good stuff. Gonna hit him with a full. Oh my god! He knocked him under the fucking the special. Did you see that? Bro, that was ridiculous. I don't Tweety, know what's though. going on right now, but Swamp Thing is going uh. absolute bananas here. Again, yep. the meter burn roll. And he's gonna, he's gonna be taking nice damage over time. Nice wake up though. Tweety can absolutely make this comeback. A place where Swamp Thing struggles is that full screen. And if Tweety can kind of take control with the zoning, we could see this go another way. Yo. But those logs were too it. much to handle. I don't and fucking believe Swamp this. Thing with the first Thing. game. He's gonna pull out the wings. And he's gonna fly away. We must protect the green. <laughs> oh, fucking dead, bro. Starfire. Swamp thing. We got Swamp Thing oh, in the goddamn building right now, bro. He's trying to he's trying to protect everything. If he sees if he sees even a flower get pollinated by fucking bees losing his shit. Swamp Thing taking game number one. That's going to be a huge statement, Caboose. Oh, you're trying to get high right now? Come on, man. Yo, pass, pass the blunt, Swamp Thing. What's going on here, man? Oh, what you got in there? OG Kush? Let me get some. Yo, Swamp Thing, stop playing. Wait a second. Nice combo. Wow, look at that though from Swamp King. Keep getting through, but those wake ups are really doing wonders right now for Tweety. I, I don't know what's going on, but back and forth is what we're witnessing here. Game number one, you know, Swamp Thing just exploded, and now Tweety answering back, gonna be taking almost a full life lead comeback here. All right, that's an all right trade. I think at this point, Swamp Thing. Yo, what are these confirms, bro? What a confirmation! Gonna slam him to the ground, not too far away from the life bars here. Tweety, he's gonna go with a special wake up. Swamp Thing just needs one more good touch. He has the trait activated. I don't think. Wait, grab it. It is a true grab, I believe. Okay, there we go. There we go. For the horde. Okay. It's the phone watching out for those projectiles. Oh, what a read from Tweety. Yep. It's not even like, you know, on top of the jump-ins, that air dash. The air oh. dash is something that makes uh, this character very, very dangerous. Wow, this he is, is bad, just getting dude. damage at that point. Yeah. And the chip out from the trait. Was wow. there anything Swamp King could have done there? Honestly, I don't think so. You kind of just have to hold that. And that is the Tweety specialty. And that is the Starfire specialty. Her trait is the strongest, I think, in this game. And the ability to hit confirm into it and, and utilize it full screen definitely led Tweety to taking that second game and tying up the set one to one. Bro, I just, I just, I finally had a chance to look at the fucking amount of support we're getting in this tournament. Almost 1,000 viewers for Injustice 2? Are you kidding me, bro? I, I'm pretty blown away. Bro. I gotta say thank you to everybody who's tuning in. Injustice 2 was a game that I was really excited to put a tournament together for Injustice, for Champions of the Realms. And to see you guys showing out, to show the support that you have, 
This is really, crazy. Really I want to say right now, if you're watching this, if you're enjoying the action, go tell your fucking brothers, tell your sisters, tell your mothers, your fathers, your grandmothers, your grandfathers, tell everybody to tune into the stream right now. Let's pass this shit to 1,000 yeah. and get this Injustice 2 hype rolling. Yeah. Two Face. Matter of fact, get Two Face out the fucking cage. Get him in the chat too. Is that Solomon Grundy in the back? Get Solomon Grundy in here. All of them. All of them under. Nice combo there from Tweety, getting 35% off of that. This is getting crazy right now. Tweety is getting a lot more comfortable in the matchup. It looks like he's controlling the space a lot more. You see, we're, we're seeing all these zoning opportunities being stirred up out of nowhere, and Swamp Thing is just having a real hard time getting up in that ass. Oh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Difficult as well because Swamp King is playing a little impatiently, and that's unfortunately to his detriment. And those logs trying to close the gap, but Tweety continues to extend it. And the air to air connects for Tweety. He just needs a couple more hits here. Okay, but wait a second now. Swamp King gonna find some openings. This is gonna be super oh. difficult. Talk about a monumental comeback. Uh, Mount Everest comeback. That'll be it right here if he pulls it out. He that wanted chip to out. grab to get some health back, and the chip out does it. Tweety's up 2 1, and this is starting to become scary for, for Swamp King. Well,. On the bright side, on the contrary, Swamp Thing needs to realize he was able to close out one game pretty convincingly, in my opinion. So, he just needs to do that two more times, bro. I don't think Swamp Thing's out of this just yet. He needs to really take this Swamp Thing to above and beyond, bro. I'm nervous. You nervous? You look nervous. You look nervous. Bro, and I think that pollen attack right there is going to be a, a game changer. Because I heard back in uh, Grim Grimnax world, they have a really bad allergy for pollen. Oh, shit. Back in, in Starfire's home, hometown, they got destroyed. Begin. I'm calling you Dr. Pollen. Oh, you said I'm Dr. Fate? Look, Ominous in the chat, he says, Swamp Thing has a swamp ass. Wow. <laughs> That's nasty, Ominous. Chill, bro. Don't talk about Swamp Thing like that. You kidding me right now? Oh, he's trying to go for that full screen command grab, and that true grab keeps connecting there for Tweety. Locking the projectile. Okay, the log connects. He can't nice get touched. The I, log. I know that's an easy thing to say being a commentator, but one more opening from Tweety could potentially make this an impossible situation. Yeah, without a doubt. He's got to close this gap, and he's got to find some hits now or never. Damn, Tweety's playing that mind game right now, just ducking under everything he's throwing at him. Ooh, that was sick. Yeah, he's going for was. some crazy pressure, but the interactable from Tweety. Dude, what, you know, one good Lion. one good touch from Swamp Thing is going to turn okay. this around. Yup, there it is. Don't drop the there combo, bro. Is. Do not drop the fucking combo. He goes to the trade. Up with the trade. Wow! That was godlike. What? They're trading hits now. Okay, Destroyer. Okay, Destroyer. The Close clone. it out. Oh no, the trait. Okay, Swamp Thing needs to find the hit now. He's got to He's got to throw the logs. Oh no, he can't get hit that much more. Oh no, this could be really bad, Destroyer. I'm scared. This could be really bad. Swamp King's got to close it out. Oh no my goodness. No way. Force the clash. He needed one hit. No, no, no. This is a big opportunity. Dude, with this clash, he's going to be able to get back the HP he just lost, you know? Wait, the Tweety said one. The unfortunate thing, though, is that he needed to try and close out that round without having to spend oh the clash. Oh my god. This is putting Swamp King in a terrible position. And he had to spend some meter to close out the round. Tweety, on match point, Swamp King has to pull off the impossible here. I, I think it's very doable. Swamp Thing is no dealing doubt. more damage than Starfire when it comes into the, uh, you know, getting okay. a hit in. Life this is going to be big. Yup. Fall on my slams to the ground. 16%. He's trying to make these reads. The low is going to stop the approach from Tweety. He's got the grass on the ground. I think he's trying to smoke a blunt real quick. Oh, Whoa. Quick clash wow. now from Tweety. I think Swamp Thing is going to spend the meter. He does not want Tweety to get an ounce of health back. Exactly. That's what happens. Okay. Bro. The chip, the destroyer, the log connects. Oh my god. He has no meter, oh. so the confirmation is not going to oh. be there if he opens him up. What a wake up from Tweety. Unreal. Goes for the interactable. At this point, Swamp nice. Thing needs to spend that meter pretty They're fucking convincingly. The They're trading. Bro. He activates it. You, you think he's going to go for the for the dash? Slide to the other side of the screen? Uh, it doesn't look like he oh. will. Is that a punish? Get the crap. He's back. dead. I think he's dead. He's not dead just yet, Destroyer! It's gonna be so close! 
Oh, the oh! Mina Bird clone! The Mina Bird clone! Swamp King stays alive! What is fucking happening, Caboose? I'm losing my mind! I'm losing my mind! Incredible! Incredible. I, didn't, I didn't think Injustice 2 had the capabilities to get to hype levels like this, but holy fuck was I wrong! Injustice 2 is in the building, and we broke a thousand viewers! I'm jumping out the window, I'll see you tomorrow! Ooh, or or on the 17th, I mean. I'll see you on the 17th, yo. Peace oh out, bro. Peace god. out. I'm out. Oh my god. Holy shit, this is the final game! The down one, he's not gonna get the confirm he was looking for. The damage was just not there. Swamp Thing, dude, these trades, you gotta be careful. Cause he's keeping the life lead with the trades, knocks him out of the air. This is gonna be big boy damage, hits him with the fucking whatever the hell that shit was. Holy cow, I'm losing my mind, bro. Tries to kick him with the jump three. Swamp Thing really needs to stay in the game. Tweety right now. What's he gonna do? Losing this life bar? Bro, the down two. Knock him in out of the special ability. I think we lost Caboose. Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh my God, went head to head and takes a life bar. Swamp King, he better not let this turn into a situation like the last round where he couldn't get that slither of HP away. That's gonna be it. No, wait, why did he not die? No, but okay, there we go. All tied up now. Final round, final game between Tweety and Swamp King. Oh, but the trait full screen. This is so bad. Swamp he jumps King, over. He, to do, he needs to get that grab and get some health back. He has a lot of meter to, do, to use right now. He needs to get the Toto and the Teta. You're totally right he about that. He needs to get that Toto and the no Teta. No, confirm. Do you know how severe that was? All oh, those grabs. Oh my goodness, this is so bad right now for Swamp King. He tried to get the command grab. Punish! Bro, oh, no. he's dead. Oh, this is it. And there it is. Such an unfortunate What the hell? And the Tweety takes it. And that is going to be the set three to two. What the hell did we just witness? Yo, I want to just mention right there. I I'm going to go off a limb here and say that that was some serious nerves kicking in at the end. Because... Yeah. He dropped some combos that we've seen go to the upward 30, 40% damage. You know what I'm saying? So yep. who knows what would have happened if Swamp Thing was able to hit those confirms. What a fucking match we just witnessed. That was, damn. I don't know if that one was hyper than the Bane one or what, but it looks like things are starting to get a little wild here. The wild fucking Thornberries. Here we go. Game one about to be underway. Honeybee with the classic God Flash skin. If anyone remembers, that's that's the he rocked that skin through his entirety of playing Injustice 2. And yo, Destroyer, I'm noticing right now we've crossed a thousand viewers for Champions of the Realms Injustice 2. Guys, thank you so much, everybody who's tuning in. This tournament has been a blast to put and, together. And, and Caboose, and, please let them know where they can catch the top eight. And, and, right. and I, I want to see the same amount of support in the top eight going over in Caboose's Twitch channel. Let them know. Let them know. That would be amazing. Yeah, if all you guys want to show up this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, two days from now, it'll be at twitch.tv slash What's the date? What's the date? That's, that's going to be this Friday, September 17th. At 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can exclamate point to boost in the chat if you want to see my Twitch channel there. Big combos there from Shatheed to take the corner. Yes. Honeybee got to battle back. And another thing I want to mention, everybody, during the top eight, this channel will be hosting Cabooses. So if you're a little lost on where to go, literally yeah. just go on either my Twitch channel, Cabooses Twitch channel, and you're going to be directed. But it's important to join the stream, join the action, join the support, and just keep the hype going, man. Injustice 2 definitely deserves it because this game is quite the eye candy for us right now man this shit's beautiful honestly honestly i know we had a bit of a zone fest in our first match for the tournament but since since then we have seen nothing but combos crazy setups ridiculous characters and now we got honeybee who's kind of got to do some work here and make a bit of a comeback against shadid it looks like he's gonna get to work on that right now and that forward three drops it with the full combo that's something he's got to be on his A game. Oh, he, that's so bad. Had to go for the air escape to survive, and he gets caught by the shoulder charge. Game one going to Shatheed. Dude, Shatheed is looking like a threat. I mean, 
I don't know if Honeybee was just a tad bit rusty, but, you know, one of the big keys to winning these matchups is going to be making sure you catch that damage because Flash, as we all know, he's all about the damage. And if you're not hitting it, if you're not getting those confirms, then you're going to be putting yourself in a really big deficit during the match. Let's see if Honeybee can clean up the execution and potentially make this work. 100%. About to be underway. Begin. Starting the match off with a standing three. He called the ship. I don't know if it was able to activate on time or what. Oh, oh, that was that's, nasty. That's one of those nutty setups that Honeybee has with the flash. Yeah, I wasn't even ready for that shit, bro. He just popped it out out of nowhere. Look Again, at the mix-ups. Oh, my up. God. Fall my back goodness. three into the Near jump three. Flawless. GG's. Near flawless off of that. The flash fucking god lord. Nicely done though. Dive kick with the lead. Flying all over the place. This is looking like fucking Spider-Man, bro. Uh, no, you're seriously playing the new Spider-Man game right before our very eyes. No cap. He's gonna get a good conversion. This is the last thing you want. If Honeybee is gonna be on that life lead. <laughs> Getting opened up by Flash is the last thing you want. Look at the damage, bro, and the corner carry. Flash Godlord in full effect. The dive kicks. Oh, not able to block the meter Ooh. burn, but air escapes out of there. Tries to get the punish, but that was actually safe, apparently. Wowzers. Yeah, no. Your pain brings no pleasure. Dive kick again. Okay, should these make a bit of a comeback here, Destroyer? Yo, wow, the is dead. The Are you fucking kidding me right now? Wow, and and, and Shadid made a complete comeback. Nice tech on the throw though. Honeybee was ready for it. Not ready for the meeting for dive kick again. Oh my goodness, the dive kick keep landing. Are you fucking oh serious? What? What just? I gotta go. Ultra Are you fucking serious right now? What just happened? How do you even commentate that? We we should have just had Caboose on repeat going dive kick, dive kick. Dive kick. Dive, kick, dive kick! Dive kick! Dive kick! That should have been the whole comms right there. Oh my god, talk about brain dead brainiac. <laughs> oh my god, man. This is too much. That should have been his fucking name. Hits him with the interact, and we're gonna send him to the paralyzed animals. Yo, the tentacles did four. Bro, come on. Why did that do 440? Oh, nice punish there from Honeybee. Uh uh, uh uh. What's the setup? Oh, wake up there from Shadid. Walks the meter burn dive kick that time. Looking for the down one. Okay, again, there it is, there punish. it is. Okay, okay. Oh, he wanted the he wanted the restand and he wanted the side switch. There but let me the ask you something: three. Do you think it's worth it to go for that that setup when you can just go for the raw big damage from Flash? You you can cash out on damage, but I think especially with what Honeybee does with this character, setup so is huge. You get your you get an opponent in restand, and especially someone like Shatid who is bouncing around the stage all over the place, <laughs> keeping them on the ground can be key. I'll protect this world with my life. That's going right now for Shadid. Honeybee has to clash here. It bets two bars to get 25% life back. He's got to make some moves now. Okay, gets the okay. jump too. This, 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 this could be the yeah. life bar. This could be the life bar right here. I think it would have been if he Whoa! had that extra bar meter. Did you fucking Look see that? at the setup. That is Honeybee Holy literally shaking too slow. Like he's literally the flat. Seriously, dude, he dashed out of that corner, didn't even give shit, uh, shit had a chance to think about what to do. <laughs> the shit had a chance. Shatheed, sorry, Shatheed. Oh, this is, this is bad. Honeybee does not have meter, or sorry, does not have flash anymore. But oh, wait a sec, he gets a conversion of a lifetime. He's gotta he be careful throw. with the wake-ups, bro, because remember, invincibility frames are gonna be all over the place with these wake-ups and injustice. Who? Avoiding the interactable. Oh, just he like caught, he caught him. About. Oh, and no, there it the is. Card draw again sends Honeybee to the lower bracket. Shadid with the Brainiac had the answer against the Flash God Lord. Wow. I don't that think an, anybody was is, ready for that outcome. 
that is an unfortunate case. Not to discredit Shatid at all, who played extremely well and, of course, took the set 3-0. But that is an unfortunate case where you're watching Honeybee do some flashy, pun intended, shit with the flash and doing stuff where it makes it seem like he's the one in control of the game. But Shatid just had it on lock, had the answer, especially with that wake up. Really, uh, really stifled Honeybee's game. Yeah. Congratulations, Shazadid. Moving on to the uh, winner's round two. Uh, I'm really happy this tournament is moving along here. Um, all I got to say is... Did you update the bracket? Yeah, I did. I did. I'm, uh, I'm the Flash now, motherfucker. I'm the Flash God Lord now. You didn't know? You didn't fucking know? Uh, so just go ahead and make sure uh, Honeybee and Swamp King play off stream. Damn, that's going to be one hell of a match. But I do think Swamp King is streaming his run. So if you guys do want to see that action go down, you know, definitely go pay a visit to the Swamp King because they're probably going to get that set up really soon here. But brother, we got all our round two winner matches ready to determine who's going to be getting into that top eight. That's going down when? That's going to be going down this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash caboose. I'll exclamation point caboose in the chat right there. Make sure you guys are following. Make sure you guys are ready. Because top eight, if you guys think you're seeing some crazy hype sets right now, you're not even ready for what's going to go down this Friday. You better be there. Yeah, 100%. I hope everybody shows up. Uh, so I just want to give a really big shout out right now. The support for this fucking tournament is absolute insanity. Yeah. So I want to say thank you so much to all 1,000 plus viewers in the chat. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that dropped the sub, everybody that dropped the follow. And um, huge shout outs to Console Gaming League. I can't stress this out enough, man. Console Gaming League has been supporting me and Caboose and this tournament series for quite some time now. For yep, quite some yep. fucking time. If since I was the to beginning. Go yes, since the, the beginning, beginning, man. And if I was to go up and tally up the amount of money they threw into these prize pools for the players, remember all this money raised goes directly to the players. And speaking of mm -hmm. money raised, if you guys want to contribute to the prize pool, please. Uh, by all means, do so. I'm going to put a, a link in the description. I'm fucking on YouTube right now. I'm going to put a link in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> Maturino.com slash T slash C-O-T-R-I-N-J. Make sure you guys go check it out. We rose, we, we raised already like a thousand plus dollars. Absolute insanity. Right. And we're making this battle for the players. One to remember, man. Oh my God, this fucking bug just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> all right. So we got uh we got all Holy of fuck. matches that destroyed. Do you have the bracket? <laughs> yeah, you could. I shit myself there, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry I flicked the bug like that, but it's okay. The bug the, the bug's on the floor walking, but I just I flicked it with the pen. You, that bug you got the bracket shit. or no? Yeah, you want you the bracket, the... you asshole here. Let me see the bracket, you piece of shit. Sorry, sorry. There you go. That's the bracket right. so far. Yep. Just so, gaze upon it. These next matches are going to be to determine who's going to be showing up on the 17th. Right. Going down right. on twitch.tv slash caboose, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So listen, we're going to say this shit all fucking day. And if you don't mark it down on your calendar, huh, I'm going to be pissed. At this point, if you don't know where you got to be this Friday for the top eight, then you're actually lost. And unfortunately, we can't help you. I mean, basically, but yo, Caboose, I think after all that hype, we earned ourselves a fucking break. I, I agree. I think it's about time we take a second, take a breather, and I think you guys need one as well. So, Destroyer, why don't we cut to a break, and then we'll be back with round two matches, and then as well, we'll see what happens in the loser side for Champions of the Realms Injustice leading into our top eight. Don't go anywhere. Otherwise, I'm going to call Bane, and he's going to hit you with a backbreaker. What kept you playing Injustice 2 throughout all these years? You know, this game now being almost four years old. What what keeps you coming back? Uh, Batman's my favorite fighting game character of all time. So uh, I can still be playing Batman in 2021 and still be doing new combos and new conversions that I never even did before. So uh, definitely super fun. I mean, my main character now is Brainiac. Um, that's the character I've been focusing on lately. Uh, but I do have like other characters. I don't really use much, but you know, fool around with other characters here and there. Um, honestly, I feel like, and I, I've, I've been vocal about Injustice 2 being my favorite of the NRS, uh, you know, uh, line of games. 
but more so, you know, I gave MK11 a chance, just like the rest of us. Um, and I'm not, I'm not here to shit on what anybody likes, but it wasn't my cup of tea. So, you know, after giving it about a year or so, I really uh, started hanging around the injustice community, and it wasn't uh, just a bunch of, let's say, light on it, but more so, there was still a community that was underground. They were thriving. Um, and they were really, you know, tight knit. So I came in and, you know, really just was able to help build that community more to light, you know, really just giving them more opportunities than what they have for themselves. There's still a community that plays the game actively. So usually I get games with them or I actually just pra go to practice most start uh, labbing stuff. I feel like I really enjoy labbing in that game as well. So I really find a lot of new ideas especially with a character like Adam, there's always like new ways to implement his uh, his game plan, his trait, all that kind of stuff. And just get in the mindset of uh, just how I used to play back then. It's sort of like, you know, you learn something and you just never forget it. So it, it's just, it's gonna feel natural to me. Console Gaming League. They've been doing fucking tournaments since the dawn of time. You thought the meteors wiped out the dinosaurs. Well, you were wrong. They put tons of money into the console competitive gaming scene. And if you're not checking it out, you are stupid ass. Make sure to check out their Twitter page to stay connected. And don't fucking forget to check out the website for their calendar event. They hosted tournaments for killer instincts. Fall Guys. Rainbow Six C. Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, and Fantasy Strike. What the fuck is Fantasy Strike? They also work with great people, such as Action Bronson, aka Witty Cat. Ladies and gentlemen, the champions of the realms in Justice 2. We just ran through some of the most hype matches I've I've commentated in my history of watching and playing in Justice 2. And we're not even in the matches that lead us into top eight. That changes right now, though. The next match that's going to be going underway is going to be accurate versus Majin Bryan, the winner of which will be the first player who will be headed into the top eight for this Friday. And that'll be taking place at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash uh, the fucking, the, uh, I can't remember his name, the zoner, the ultimate zoner. Uh, Accurate was coming out with that character. Now going up against Adam, I wonder who he's gonna pick against him. Adam. This should be really Let's interesting. See. Let's see what Accurate plans to do here. I mean, at the end of the day, dude, I, I feel like Adam is a character with Robin. very little bad matchups. Robin, I can see it be, with the range of the sword. Ooh, you know, yeah. he might be able to, to knock him out of that trade a couple of times. This should be yeah. very, very interesting here. Speaking of trade too, using, uh, using Robin's trade can be very uh, beneficial. That's right, game. you get the plus frames, you get the setups, and just all, all in all, you get some really good fucking damage with Robin. Several options, several Hell options. Hell yes. So you're a genius, huh? I think I'm just a really good student. Begin. Oh shit. Wow, did you see what Tweety said in the chat there? No Honey way. Honeybee was a reverse 3-0 against Swamp King. He stays oh alive. Oh my god. Okay, there's the setup there with the Batarang. Oh, try to get that forward three. There is that extended range that you get off the forward three for Robin. Here we go now, Majin Bryan trying to play the full screen game with Adam, gets the projectile to land. Here comes a full combo conversion. And dude, oh, he's gonna spend the meter, not gonna able to get, not gonna get that conversion though. And look, the pressure's not all the way on, but this is fucking problematic here, you know? These are the matches, again, to get into the top eight for, for this Friday. Going down 6 p.m. Eastern time zone over at twitch.tv slash caboose. You know, don't forget it, you motherfucker, you. Oh, hey, hey. Sorry, sorry. He puts the poison on the ground. That's going to be damage over time. He got out of it. 
Not gonna be taking him in the round. Oh my god, what a way to stay alive, Caboose! Holy shit! Oh, that's this is Mary's favorite character, so she's gonna have a blast watching this battle here. Going into the tray, gonna put him in the corner. Let's see what the Adam, aka Majin Bryant's got to bring to the table here. The double down ones, dude. It, you know what's funny about Robin Caboose? He he's got a lot of similarities to to the Flash, and I'm just basing that off of the double pokes he's able to do into the easy confirm. You know? That's right. Goes for the four three into the back three to shut down any opportunity to clash. Majin Bryan wants to close this out. Activates trait. Wow, the blocking. Wow. No he's clash. Still alive. No clash accurate. Although, again, I will say it is pretty difficult when you're getting crossed up like that from trait to understand or know which direction you need to be aiming the clash towards. So if that's what happened, I get it. But either way, it looks like the first game is going to go to Majin Bryan. Holy cow. What a convincing game, too, at that part. I mean, Accurate was getting some really good damage on the table for a majority of those moments, but let's see what happens. He's going to be sticking with the Robin. I've featured him in a couple sets these past couple days, and I do know for a fact he has a wide arsenal of characters he can bring to the table. He has a Red Hood. He has a fucking... He has a Flash of his own, and... He's sticking with the Robin, so I think Robin is the favorable matchup in this uh, in this scenario here. What I tell you, the fucking sword knocked him out of the tray. Just what I thought. Worked like a charm. He's gonna put the fucking chemical warfare on the ground. Accurate, just trying to play that clean neutral. Knocks him out of the trade again, Caboose. How are you feeling about this? Incredible stuff right now from Accurate. Gotta be careful here. It's a back and forth battle. Gonna catch him with the double down poke into the easy confirm. That's a luxury right there. And in Injustice 2, getting access to a double down hitting poke, man. Okay, good throw. I love the sound effect on that when he's in your ear. That was perfect. How'd you do that? I'm the Adam. I'm the one that made the sounds for him. You made the sounds for him? You yeah. worked in NetherRealm Studios? You made the sounds? Uh, yeah, you're lying. Let me, yeah, let, me not, let me not say that before NetherRealm has to go to a fucking lawsuit. Cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> chill, 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 yo, chill. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. That's interactable there. Oh, trying to shoot the meat of a projectile to catch accurate in midair. Wasn't able to connect that, though. Oh, look at that. From Majin. Meter burns the ground pound. The trade's out. Oh, push block to shut down the trade. I like what Ooh. I'm seeing now. From accurate. Accurate is looking pretty accurate with oh, these the attacks. Far cloud. <laughs> the far cloud and accurate jumps oh, right into so, it and gets so, shitted on. So, <laughs> so you're telling me he farts into the vial before he drops it to the ground? That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah no, Adam, he just has a bunch of vials in his pocket with just his captured farts. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Nice push block again. I, 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 don't They're know, okay. I don't know what's going to kill me first. The matches Ooh. are these fucking jokes. <laughs> nice stage transition there from Majin Bryan. That's going to give him some good, unclashable damage. Wanted to jump in. Not going to get it. Blocked here. From Accurate gets caught oh. in the air. Oh, beautiful Dude. stuff. Majin Bryan's going to get some good damage, especially with a background bounce. They both have access to clash still, but they are tied on the meter. I don't think it's a good oh. opportunity for anyone to clash at this moment. He's got to clash. He's got to clash. Oh, he clash! He has to. Yeah, okay. Last they're going to tie on the meter line. here. I don't. I don't think Majin Bryan's gonna down. open up an opportunity for accurate. I think he's gonna use it. Back. Yep. You were 100% right so on that careful. part. Tries to oh, get the jump hit. three. Oh my god. Oh, but he whiffed. You the know that, again. That, that could have been the punish right there with that, that whiff. But not been, oh. he, he's trying to keep it unclashable. I don't oh think god, that was a did. smart move. The train. Oh. The train. Oh. The oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, oh my god! What the hell was that sequence? Oh my god, bro! He tried to wake up with a sword dash and it just didn't work out. That was very nerve wracking right there. Holy shit! Yo, quick question: What does Kotal think of that? You don't impress me. You don't impress me. Bro, why'd you have to fire him up? He's gonna be going all fucking you night out. You don't impress me. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't impress me. 
prison. Oh. You don't destroy You don't impress. Are you seeing what you I'm don't seeing? Impress. I, I, what are you saying? Cordo's just going crazy right now. You don't impress oh, me. Well, right now, what I'm seeing you is that Accurate is busting out you the first Black me. Adam we've seen in this entire tournament so far. Which is a surprise, because I thought Black Adam was in the higher higher tier of, of the end of things, you know? Oh, he absolutely is. And this just is a testament to kind of how diverse Injustice 2 was, especially towards the end of its run. For real, man. I think what Injustice 2 had that a lot of MK games don't, especially with the superhero flavor, is that a lot of people were character loyalists. They wanted to stick with the characters that they were playing as from the beginning, no matter what. You see characters like Bane with Biohazard, the Flash with Honeybee. Here we go now, accurate. This character switch working wonders so far. And let me just uh, mention, you know, this isn't looking too far away from the last match they just had. Accurate was in a pretty similar life lead such as this, yep. but we saw Majin Ryan turn that shit around in the blink of an eye. So hopefully, Accurate's going to be able to close it out this time, you know, being down 2-0. to zero. This is kind of the, the position he needs to be in. Gets to confirm. That was disgusting. Knocked him out of the interactable. But the clash immediately from Majin Bryan. How many bars is he going to spend? Spend them both. Fuck it. Boom. Smacks him to the ground. Undo the damage you just took. And now let's see if Majin Bryan can start to make this comeback. But no. Accurate going to land some good hits. Looking for the low pokes. Majin Bryan activates trait. And here comes the trait combo into the corner. Oh, but he gets the side switch. Oh, down two. Air to air, instantly from Accurate. Oh, nice teleport there on the wake up. Okay, and there we go. The light bar has been erased. Majin Bryan, though, without Clash, needs to be careful on not getting hit at all. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to be optimistic for both parties here, but holy shit, Majin Bryan, his comeback factor is immaculate. And you gotta be so careful for Black oh my God. Trait. Oh, goes for the unclashable, the trait, Bro. the trait. Bro, not gonna clash. this is getting problematic here. I mean, Accurate has all the meter in the world to clash when he needs to. So, if anything, right. he, he should probably get opened up on purpose just oh, so he can stupid. knock that shit out, you know? Bro, you what the fuck sure. is going on, Caboose? Hold on, hold on. How did he make this happen? Oh my god! He's dead. Trade. Oh my god. Oh my god, you gotta be careful. Oh, he got caught! And that's gonna be the game. Oh. Accurate stays alive. Holy shit, that was so close, bro. My heart just tightened up oh, right there. I thought I was gonna shit the floor. What a fucking match right there. Finally, Accurate gets one on the board. This is going to be the momentum he needs. And, you oh know, I, it, it's crazy because <laughs> he was putting all the chips down on Robin, right? This dude was almost sure that Robin was the right pick for this. But then going down two to zero, finally decides to switch off of that. Go for the, for the Black Adam. And look at the turn of events. I mean, it was still super fucking close, but Accurate's yeah. gonna close it out and stay alive. Yep. Begin. Beautiful stuff there, Accurate. Making things work with this switch. The thing though that was key about that match is, again, Accurate had that really good start, but then Majin Bryan starts to make the comeback. Now Majin Bryan is bringing that level of momentum at the start of this game, which puts Accurate in a tough position. So you've gotta be careful. And land those dive kicks. I read in the chat and I heard the voice in my head begin. <laughs> begin. <laughs> Back three. Okay, here we go. There's that injustice one combo. Oh wow, Oof. the good version with the trait there. That's the best that's the best stage time or mid round time right there. What? Begin. <laughs> that one? That's the one, yeah. Oh, he's got to watch out. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's what he had no, to watch out for. Broken. Did he not realize? Did he, he forget broken. about it? Oh, shit. Dude, I don't even play this fucking game, and I, I knew to watch out for that. Oh, no. This is going to be a tough situation. He even went off a of one bar just so he didn't get as much HP back as, as he should have. Okay, that's a nice immediate comeback oh, off of the clash there to take that life bar. Ducks under the projectile. Oh my god. And you gotta remember Black Adam is able to he's able to make that that dive kick plus in certain distances. Nice push block. Gotta get rid of that trait. Okay, the dive kick connects. Oh, oh the back my the god, that was clean. What was the combo? I don't think he had the meter, unfortunately. Oh. And now he's gonna land the pits. Down one oh into the electricity. God, that's Watch gonna be another nasty punish. 
Majin Brian is in trouble here. Accurate just oh, needs one good button. touch. The win button. And there it is. The dive kick into trait. The win button works. And Accurate <laughs> sends us to a game Black five. I've always said this about Black Adam. If there's one character that's almost impossible to make a comeback on, it's this motherfucker right here. Just because of what you said. The win yep. button. Pop trait and just let the orbs do the job man holy shit we're going to another game five dude how oh things God. just amped up out of nowhere caboose honestly i don't know what the hell is going on but these players they're just they're doing their fighters approaching the joker's playground and uh, let me get this straight so loser of 16. oh okay okay so Oh wow, so who, yeah, so whoever loses this, bro, is gonna have to fight Honeybee in the, in right. the lower bracket. And that is not, uh, I'm not envious. Oh, nicely done. Gets the electricity to punish that meter burn back three. Watch out for the unblockable interactable in the corner there. Meter burn dive kick. Oh, look at the damage destroyer. Look at the damage. Damn, looking like a young Bane out here with those body slams. He's gonna get opened up, but not too too serious there. Gets the punish off of the trait. That is not. Yo, is he dropping combos or he's going for setups? I don't know what's happening, but Acura right now has a big lead on Majin Bryan. Oh, but here's the trait. He's crossing up, trying to get the overhead, gets punished. Accurate, after bringing it back and sending us to a game five, is now on match point destroyer. Can he make the reverse 3 0 happen? I, I mean, this is looking pretty damn good. We've seen Majin Brian turn the tides of battle time and time again. So this isn't too far-fetched for this to be a, a battle to the death here. Majin Brian just needs one more. Oh my god, he Yo, stopped the, he he stopped the short lightning. Hop. He short hop. Oh man, he's short hopping. 11 and Injustice 2 with the short hop That's over the, the lightning there. And here we go. This is a final match point for both players. Final life bar for both players. Uh -oh. That could have been a punish. He's got to be careful, man. Got the armor off that interactable. Good stuff there from Majin Brian. Holding the corner Bro. right now. Try to get the immediate dive kick. Was that a Not was that a, a input error when he just he did the raw wake up? That's Not punishable sure. on block. Maybe but he's got to be careful with that. Majin Brian gets the throw. He's gonna have the slight oh. life lead here. Uh -oh. The forward three into the dive and kick. Why isn't he gonna? Oh, Majin Brian already came. Majin, Majin no Brian can't clash right now. He does not have the, the lead on meter. You're right. You're right. Oh my lord, he's mixing him up with the fucking dot. Holy shit! Oh, the teleport. They both oh, have the clash still. Oh, oh my god. What? He what? has to clash. He has to clash right at the Whoa. end there. Such weird. To build I'm gonna as tell you right now. If I call this out, the only way Majin wins this if he, he activates trait. He has to either teleport or activate the trait and do the most godlike opportunity. Oh no! The reverse 3-0 is complete. Accurate with the Black dive Adam kick. Wins. That was dive next kick. to impossible. Against Black Adam, if you're on Magic Pixel and he has trait available, call it a night. Call it a night. Oh my goodness! What a set! I think that's what we're going to be looking forward to these next couple matches is sets like that, bro. Yep. You know, this is it. We're getting down to the wire, and these players are going to want to try their hardest to get into that that money. And yeah, absolutely we right. saw there, man, Acura just fought like this was his last fucking dying breath. The Honestly. dude came out of nowhere and just reversed 3 0 what we thought was impossible at a point. Congratulations to Acura. Being the first one, Caboose, to get into that top eight. Holy shit. That, that was unbelievable. Shit. Really, really good stuff there from both competitors. And as well, as we've been mentioning, you know, Majin Bryan's not eliminated. He is going into the lower bracket to actually face off against Honeybee. We will see that match later on. If I'm correct, Destroyer, Losers Round 2 is being played on stream, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to try to get all of those matches on stream. So we are going to try to blow through this shit fairly quickly here hopefully we we could uh you know knock this out in a timely manner uh so wang i'm a little confused here oh okay so i had to update honeybee i forgot to update honeybee so it looks like we got our first uh lower side match as well that's yep. going to be set up here which is majin brian versus honeybee now i hope these two players practice their asses off before that match begins because they're gonna have 
a, a good amount of time, you know, to, to get ready for it. And it looks like the next match we're going to. Holy shit, Caboose. Let me update the bracket real fast, and I'll go over this with the stream together. You know, when the matches are not moving, me and Caboose are getting to the point where we're going to end the tournament, end the whole stream. Uh, 100%, but yo, Destroyer, it's looking like the prophecy has been foretold as Rasheen has picked Batman, and Forever Batman. King will do the same. A Batman mirror match. Oh my between god. Between Forever King and Rasheen, compa. Rushing, rushing, compa. Rushing, compa, compa, fucking comida, rushing. Sorry, sorry. Here we go. It's going down. Batman versus Batman. No, I didn't say fat man. I fucking said wow. Batman. Wow, you're fat shaming. Wow. Wait, what? <laughs> nice down two to cross, or to shut down the cross up. Oh, I like trying to reset, reset him and he dude, he waited for the last possible moment for that that uh, hit advantage to wear off Okay, the patient right now. Oh, he tries to advance under the the batarang but claps him with the trait that was nasty Dude it, I, I don't want to speak too soon, but it looks like compa is making these reads a second before forever king does There's the trait. Good crossover jump too. He's looking for the pressure here. Explodes the batarang in the air. Catches him slipping. This is going to be Forever King's opportunity to even oh. out these light bars here, but drops the combo. Talk about oh a commentator's God. curse. Second chance opportunity though as he gets the whip punish. Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, I don't know what happened. My man's oh, got... He's got three. cocky butt or what? He's dropping combos. They got the cocky butt. You think King is turning into the cocky butt god? Oh, maybe. I love how aware both these competitors are of these characters. They know what moves are coming next and they're trying to prepare for them in advance. It's a battle of attrition here in Champions of the Realms of Justice 2. Nice grab from Rashid. Rashid! Very no. good. <laughs> Very good patient here. Gonna be forced, well not forced to go off the clash, but I think this is a good opportunity. I don't know what it is about Injustice 2, but when, when your opponent has that little, that little 10%, 5% HP, it's impossible to get rid of it, bro. Yeah. It's like they go ultra fucking instinct. That was, the, well, that's the thing is that you know, when you're in that position, you literally have nothing to lose. So you might as well go all out, go batshit crazy, because any hit counts for you at that point. No need to try and worry your play strategically because the worst case scenario, you lose your first health bar. You're totally right about that. That's a great way to put it, but Forever King not too far away from nice this back set. Dash. Yeah, that back dash was insane. I would have been surprised if he caught some type of punish there with nice the back air trade. Air to shut down the Props it again though, bro. Yeah. Not like this. Either he no was way. trying to get the, the clash avoided or I don't know what's going on. Oh, the restand! That was sick. That was beautiful stuff from Rajin. Raul! <laughs> Good forward three. He's got to watch out here. Nice Another throw. There. Toma slams him to the ground. This is even Steven's caboose. The ultimate Batman mirror. Oh, oh shit! Got three. And he wanted to go for a clashable, but he didn't need to. Forever King doesn't have clash anymore. Holy cow! He oh, caught the back no, dash? No fucking way. Forever Wait, King's still alive. He's still alive he here. He has two Batarangs too. He has two Batarangs off the trait. This could be huge for Forever King right now. Dude, I, right I, now. I feel like he's going to keep the Batarang up the oh, rest of this match. He's got a breaker. He's got a clash. He has to clash. Go with the two bars. Go with the two bars. Forever King has to bet the bars. He go. needs as much damage as possible right now. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Oh Forever my God. He didn't go for anything. What? That's very smart. That is very... Oh my God. Did you just see that destroyer? Oh, he jumps over the batarang, activates Drake into the slide. Are you are you kidding me? Destroyer's convulsing right now. He's literally he's like one of those cats in the living room. He's like, you know, one of those. <laughs>
fortress of solitude. I'm coughing up. I'm coughing up a fucking hairball right now after that one, bro. Hairballing right now. I'm fucking hairballing, bro. And King goes in the chat. He said, "Nice one." <laughs> Yo, the shirt. Take it out. That was the Trust first me, game, too. That was only no. one. No match. way. That was the first game. I was under the, uh, under the impression that was grand finals. <laughs> you lied to me. Feels like it. Hits him with all three batterings. Yeah, and the thing with Batman is, you can confirm if, if I'm wrong or not. But does it really matter if he has a three fucking bats for his trait? I feel like like one or you know one bat, two bat. They all do the same shit. They well, get him the a combo. Bat, obviously, the one batarang or the one bat trait is like your safety net. When you have two, that can become a bit of a problem. And obviously, three is it's the same thing. Beautiful stuff right now from Forever King. Using that combo to send Rashin all the way into the corner. Back dashes that forward three. Locks that forward three. Just staring him down oh, here. Go, he's going to get the jump in. Tries to There's stagger into the plus landed. frames with Rajin Kompa. He finds a way to get out of these sticky situations right every single time. Oh my goodness, what a conversion He headbutted there. his ass. Did Ripped you see that? <laughs> Good thing he's wearing a, a full face cover and helmet. <laughs> yeah, he would have walked away that that one with pink eye. Without a doubt. Good confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Meter burn 4 3 gets the back two to land. There's that little safety net with the trait. Dude, he didn't even use the trait. He kind of just faked them awesome. out with it. Oh my goodness. Rashin Kampa with this Batman is a problem. No doubt about it. He tries to hit him with the Batarang, just taking a step back. It's kind of looked like Batman has been on the approach the entire time. I don't know if you feel the same way, but Kampa is doing a really good job of just controlling this neutral game. That's right. Oh, my slams him to the ground. There's going to be... What? I thought that interactable was guaranteed. He knocked him out of it. Forever King is in a really tough position right now. He has Clash still available, but there is a hell of a life lead for Kompa. Okay, gets the 1-1-3. One, one, he needs to close out the life bar right now and does so with the sweep. So with Clash, he has an opportunity to potentially get 25% health back if he finds himself in that position. Bro, this is going to be the comeback of comebacks. Oh, and if there's anyone three. that can do it, it's going to be Forever King. Dude, that raw forward three. Just the simple fact that Kompa didn't react to that shit. Wow. I, I think King's got a real good shot at this right here. And Forever King's about to be... They both don't spend the meter. That's interesting. The mind games that are going on right now, bro. He tried to get the cross up. Not going to get Wait. it. Oh, my goodness. He, he did the, the double jump. He's still alive. Oh, oh my goodness. Destroyer. Oh, my Forever God. King. Forever King. I would end He's the stream right now if he makes his comeback, bro. Nice push. The breakaway. Watch that out for the back. Break. And the back oh, to land. Oh, shit. He's, this set, it doesn't matter Batman if it's 3 0 or game 5. This set is bringing the hype like I've never seen before. It truly is. Of the best minds with this character in Injustice 2 going at it, and I can't believe what we're seeing. Batman. You don't impress me. No, you do impress me on this one. Okay, okay. You think Forever King makes the characters? No, we're gonna go Batman. right back to the Batman. That was stupid of me to say that. You know, King has been a Batman loyalist Good. since Injustice 1. So, you know, him making that character switch is hella far-fetched. Rajan Kompa, on the other hand, is doing a fucking compra on Forever King. Going right back into it. Starts the match off with a back two, I believe. Yes. Knocks him out of the air. Into the interactable. He said, bro, that's yeah. my fucking Batmobile. Hey. <laughs> that's right. They're fighting on home turf right now in the back cave. He said, who's this imposter? Nicely done. Damn. Forever King off the reset. Gets the load to land. Incredible stuff. It's that plus ray, man. Once he goes for that little, uh, that string, I believe he's plus two on it. He just has so much leverage off of it. That's right. Look at this. The Roger Koba mixing his shit up, man. Wowzers. I, I, I'm fucking, I'm lost. My time. Somebody get Caboose some Leche. Can we get some Leche bottles in the chat for Caboose? Please. Some Leche bottles in the chat for Caboose. I absolutely need it. Oh, nicely done there. The Batarangs into the forward, too. Forever King has pretty much got to make this comeback now. 
Oh, gets caught there. Blocks the overhead and the Batarang. Oh, one of the throw. Gonna get punished big time for that. And there's the unclashable damage from Compa. From Ra 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 Rashin Raul. Raul Compa? That sounds about right. Knocks him out of the air with a Batarang. This is not looking oh, too good for trained. Forever King, bro. Oh my goodness. Yo, oh, this is so bad for Forever King right now. He's got a clash. I would almost I even bet three meter right now. You gotta, you gotta so work far, and get some bad. life back. Bro. Spend both bars. Hey, hey, twenty five percent. And can we talk about this menacing look on Kompas Batman? This shit looks like the the bringer of death here. Honestly, the billionaire cowl. No, oh, is this the like the legendary shit? This is not as legendary, but it's, it's one of his good gear. I like this gear. Okay, the push right, block right. the trade. Gets copied the interactable. This is going to be next to impossible. What is? How King pulls does he bomb. not catch that? Okay. Forever King finds an opening, finally. And he drops the combo. And oh. the chip damage off of the Batarang will do it. Pompa takes the set 3-0. Wow. What a turn of events game. right there, bro. I, I think I think what was unfortunate and what ended up being the downfall for Forever King was the amount of times he tried to go for the grapple hook and traded with the Batarang. All that damage really added up for Compa to take the set 3-0. But Forever King not out of it. Going to be sent into the lower bracket. We're going to see him later on. Yeah, let's see what happens here, man. Uh, let me take a look at the bracket real fast. So Forever King is going to be getting sent down to face off against Huang motherfucking oh, Phoenix. Yeah. Jesus Lord. It looks like the next match we have is a juicy one. It looks like we're going to have Mason the Mukau versus Biohazard. I'm going to ease off of setting up these damn brackets and just focus on getting these matches going because this is uh, this is taking some time. You got that Venom Angel out right now. You can get the collector's box. The black ooze or the red ooze. Ooh. I don't know if you're a fan of Carnage or Venom. Okay, I'm okay. Hold you on. grab that right now. Make sure you use Coca Boost or Code Combo with a K. All right. Check out. Uh, let's get a ban on B1 real quick. <laughs> get him the <laughs> fuck out of here. Piece of get shit. Get him out of here. Oh, here we go. Another match for top eight. Mason going up against Biohazard. Better to conquer than collect. Begin. All right, here we go. Game one underway. Biohazard. With some elbow drops. This should be interesting right here. This should be real interesting. He's gonna catch him with the tentacles, throws him on the other side of the screen. Bio is gonna have to do it. And you know what's crazy? Injustice 2 throughout his entire competitive lifespan. I don't think I've seen this matchup enough. Bane versus uh fucking brain dead over here. <laughs> oh Brainiac, sorry, Brainiac. My bad. Oh, is his name Dive Kicks? Dive Kicks, sorry, Dive Kick. He's tossing spaceships all over the place. Tries to hit him with another dive. Oh my god, the power bomb knocking him out of the air. Runs to the other side of the screen. Let's see what happens. He's just taking a step back, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Dude, do they go for the interactable just to waste it? What, what, I have what, no idea. What is the mindset between okay. that one? There's the elbow drop. Now, if there's a character that's absolutely capable of a comeback, it is Bane and it is Biohazard. But there's the dive kick from Mason. Oh my goodness, these dive kicks. And that is actually going to be the game. No clash Wow. From Biohazard. I feel like that is a mechanic that a lot of people have forgotten is so key to Injustice 2. It may just be one of those things where a lot of the players, the competitors, need that adjustment period, need to get that muscle memory back in order to remember that they gotta be using that clash. 100% without a doubt. Biohazard, I don't think he's gonna be switching off a of Bane anytime soon. So let's see if he's gonna be able to, you know, just readjust to this matchup and potentially make options and, and the scenarios a bit better for himself. I mean, he wasn't doing too bad. He, he got rid of the life bar way too late, but it's Bane we're talking about here. You know, this character can erase your HP in the blink of an eye. So you can never count the character out. Very good pressure. Puts him in the corner. Goes with the interactable. Sets him up with the drop shit, bro. This motherfucker is going wild. Right now, Biohazard Ball was on the debuff. There's the elbow drop, but it gets interrupted by the trade. Mason's making the right moves. 
He really is, and he's gonna pull out the tentacles. He says, I am Ron Perlman. <laughs> yes, everyone's fucking Ron Perlman. <laughs> the upper cut. <laughs> done the tombstone power driver. Oh! oh he gets the five tech oh, meter burn. Oh my god! He gave him the oh, triple this. deluxe stretch leches combo. This is bad. Any hit that will connect for Mason could be the end for Biohazard. Copy that low. Okay. Tombstone Power Driver now activating trait. Okay. Double uh, drop. Very good stuff. He's going to meter, meter burn. burn. And that's not going to kill? Oh, God. Chill. Magic pixel for Biohazard. <laughs> this that's is tough. Trait this is tough. <laughs> <laughs> there is the dive kick. That's gonna be Brainiac it. Game wins. two going now to Mason, who's on a tear right now with this Brainiac. This Brainiac Maniac. This fucking Brainiac Maniac, bro. And you know, just having a look at the bracket right now, it, it, it's kind of, it's super interesting. Brainiac. Like, one of the things I was most excited for for this top 16 bracket was the huge diversity we had in Necros and OGs. You know, it was a great mix of everything. And so far, man, getting into the top eight, it's looking like the Necros are, are taking the lead. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are coming in full force. Starting off this game now, Biohazard with a, with a decent start, getting the interactable into the suplex. That's huge damage. Avoids the wake up. Down two, that shuts down the trait. He's on level three trait now, right now for uh, Biohazard. Oh, big damage from Mason. This is getting wild. Biohazard's gonna have to channel his inner Totinsky. I know I've said it before, but once you enter the state of Totinsky, there's no going back. And I think he's I think he's entering it, Caboose. Oh, he is entering the state of the theme scheme. Wait a second. Oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on. Somebody wants to... Okay, yes, that's my name. I'll hit you with a back foot. Back, back foot. Oh, gotta be really careful. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh, my God. I'm fucking weak. He goes for the down kick, but the dive kick gonna knock him out of the air. This is gonna be so bad for Bio. Already losing the life lead, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, this is rough right now. He I does mean, have trade yeah. right back up. He, he has, has a full stick of butter. Full trade, full stick of butter. He has everything he needs to make this comeback happen. He just needs to get the hit in. <laughs> He's running into nothing, bro. <laughs> this shit is looking like a fucking bull masquerade oh, at this point. Oh, oh he's game. dead. Back to the game. Meter burns the back three into the stage transition. Black Manta gonna beat the shit out of Bane. And Bane's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The fucking underwater. The <laughs> underwater <laughs> squat. <laughs> That's the set. A real quick one there, honestly. I mean, Mason. listen, Mason's doing God's work right now. He's saving us <laughs> some fucking time. And that's, that's I'm not giving a low blow to nobody. Seriously, this this tournament is taking a, a, a bit of time here. But anyways, let's keep on moving on. We got the next match underway. This is going to be the last match on winner's side to get us the uh, the top eight completed for the winner's side of things here, huh? I can't even be too short anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus Shathid. Game one about to go down. We got another Brainiac on our screen. And this will be an interesting matchup because, of course, Tweety with Starfire, a character that really controls the space, manages the full screen, and as well has a lot of air projectile opportunities with that trait. So she could be able to shut down the jumping that we see a lot from Brainiac. We'll see what happens. We yeah. Facing off against the D, game one underway. And then one another good thing to mention is that, you know, Tweety, out of all these players here, I'm gonna just go off the limb and say I think he's been the one grinding the most. You know, we see him in a, in a lot of the uh, Injustice television, and he's always, always trying to find time to grind this game. You know, so if, if there's anyone that's gonna be prepared for this shit, uh, shithead, it's gonna be Tweety. <laughs> I mean, uh, Brainiac, sorry. Oh my god. Okay, meter burn the forward three. Didn't work out there. Okay, but wait a sec. Tweety shuts down that meter burn. Dive kick, dive kick, dive kick, dive kick. Oh, he's going crazy right now, huh? Beautiful into the background bounce. 
slow, trying to get the full conversion, wasn't able to, and the meter burn off that wake up is gonna connect. There's those air projectiles, just like I said. Tweety takes that health bar down with the air projectile using the train. Wowzers! He's just what tossing projectiles here, and like you said previously, man, the, the aerial one with the little dots that explode, if he makes that right read, it's gonna be almost guaranteed damage every single yep. time. But yep, still, look at these life bars, man. Shafid is in the lead. He needs one more good touch to take Tweety out and go up game number one. These matches, for some weird fucking reason, are going fast as shit now, bro. What's what's crazy too about Starfire is she could literally special cancel a projectile in the more projectile. He's dead. And speaking of special cancels, Shathid with the meter burn forward three, taking the first game. Brainiacs are just coming out on top tonight, destroyer. Oh my god! And speaking of Brainiacs coming out on top, Caboose, let's just say this is just an assumption. Let's just say Shathid ends up winning this. Guess who he moves on to fight in top eight? Fire. Fire. Uh, oh, he moves on to fight Mason, another Brainiac. Another Brainiac. So we might potentially be setting ourselves up for the ultimate Brainiac mirror. But that's now, not to if, count out if, Tweety early. If we go in the other direction and Tweety does take this, that gives him two days where he's really got to practice this matchup because Brainiac is seemingly going to be a character that dominates the top eight and is dominating so far the top 16. There's no doubt about that. Wait, wait, Look wait, at wait. this. Going with the down ones, making sure he gets that chip damage in lockdown. What happened? What's Brainiac? Oh, there you go. Okay, Bane, I don't know. He's, he's really pissed about losing that match. Shit, I don't, I don't blame Bane, man. I'm pissed too watching this fucking match. <laughs> okay, he's tossing the, the battleships. Hits him with the jump three. That's going to be a beautiful confirm coming from Tweety. Look at the life lead right now, Caboose. This is a scary sight to behold. You know Shathid is shitting his pants right now. Absolutely should be. Okay, there's the stars and there's a the projectile. What? Tweety is controlling with the zoning right now. This is pretty wild. Constantly sending out the projectiles. He goes with a standing three, tries to clap him with the overhead, but the beautiful blocks coming from Tweety, bro. He's been on that life lead for how long now? The same exact spot too. This motherfucker's looking untouchable right now. He's activated the ultimate zoner button for Starfire right now. And it looks like Shathid just needs to, to break this brick wall of defense that Tweety has. He cannot get in. By the way, Mods, can we get some exclamation point Macharinos in the chat, por favor? And if anybody would be so kind to donate, contribute to the prize pool, it's already at a thousand plus dollars. Absolute madness. We would be greatly appreciated, us and the team over in uh, Champions of the Realms, as well as the competitors. No, it's looking unlikely for Shadid to make the comeback, and he tried to meet over and roll, but gets caught by the trait. Tweety has seemingly figured out a way to counter the Brainiac play. Damn, look at that. She, it looks like she's burning the scoreboard right now. What was that, Bane? Sorry. I'm in love with Solomon. Yes. Okay, Bane is uh, professing his love for Starfire. Brainiac. Probably because Starfire. she was able to take down Brainiac, the maniac. Brainiac. Yeah, Bane's out of control. Brainiac. Absolute out of control. Fighters approaching Gotham City. Nobody can guess how this is about to go, but all I can say, man, is we've been blessed with some crazy matches all night. All fucking night. Begin. You're gonna be going right back into the battlefield. Knocks him out of the air. Clips him with a beautiful confirm. That's what you love to see. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? I can't believe it. He's gonna try to call the battleships here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the last oh match boy. to determine who's going to be going into the top eight, huh? Yeah, this is. On, yeah, well, that's right. For, for winner's side. For winner's side, that's right. He's going to hit him with the fucking trade again. Knocks him out. This control is unbearable. I don't even know what Shatid's going to do. If if they go into a 2-1 a situation with Shatid being down on the games, he's definitely got to think of something for this matchup here. Dude. Trying to call that trade. Tweety has just been unstoppable. 
the zone warrior. And that dive kick trade kind of sealing Shatid's fate, but wait a sec. Can yeah, he make the comeback? I don't I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't destroy would, would a character like Star but he makes his comeback? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say that something is. crazy. I was gonna say something uh, crazy, bro. Uh, 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 uh. There it is, Tweety going up two to one, one game away from securing his spot into the top eight. That's gonna be going down this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone over at the homie Caboose's Twitch channel. That'll be twitch.tv slash caboose. So you better mark that shit down, put it in your calendar, cause this action is just getting started. This was like the build up. This was the build up for the fucking top eight. Do you know when that top eight goes down, bro, when these players are finally competing for the money, the stakes are going to be risen to the maximum extent. You're absolutely right about that, Destroyer. And here we go now into game four. Shadid, got to figure something out. He needs to bring a little more of that hype and the momentum he had in the first game. Because since then, it has been the Tweety Show. Look at the patience he's showing here. Gets hit out of the air. He's kind of just blocking, waiting for an opportunity to strike. He's going to go with the standing ones into the tentacles. Here we go. Big boy damage, 38%. But Tweety gets out of the corner with the wake up. Bro, this is a slugfest now. Shafiq kind of losing the lead. What's he going to do? Wakes up with a fucking nice. dash. Nice cross up there with the dive kick. Oh my, oh my this god! Oh my god! TD doesn't want right now. He can't give Shithi the opportunity to get in your face. And the usage of that interactable interactable was a bit detrimental there, as that allowed Tweety to close out that round. Let's see though. Okay, nicely done. The instant dive Whoa, kick to get that what a read. But the grab off that read. Beautiful. There's the interactable. Oh, sorry, the uh, the trait. Shafid can definitely still make this happen, but he's in a very difficult situation. Starfire, winner back to the wall. Nice Bro, read. the reads, man. Yeah, he's got reads on reads on reads. Just try and get in. Goes for the down two, because he expected that strength. Gets caught by projectiles now. This is looking really bad. Again, similar position to what we saw in the last game. He's got the first health bar, but an immense life lead in Tweety's favor. Wait a second. Oh, the wake up with the hair flip will do it. Tweety takes this three to one. Wowzers. That was a Wowzers moment if I've ever seen it. You know, I said that if Tweety took this set, he would need to be practicing this matchup, but it looks like that set was all the practice he needed. He found a way to completely shut down the pressure that Shadid had on him with Brainiac the Maniac. I mean, and, and also take into consideration the amount of times he made the read on the fucking air projectile to knock him out of the dive. Like, yep. dude. That was some god god tier levels of Starfire play right there. And I'm pretty sure you won't see that anywhere but in the hands of Tweety. Very GG's, very GG's. Uh wow. This top 8 is shaping up to look like a fucking bloodbath, bro. Without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. Let me just update the bracket real quick and uh let's go ahead and take a look at this, man. We got uh, the entire winner side of the bracket set up and ready to rock and roll. Check it out right here. It looks like Accurate versus Compa will yep. be going down on Friday. And Mason versus Tweety is going to also be going down on Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time Zone over on Caboose's Twitch channel. And looking at the lower side, we're going to be getting through those matches in just one second. This is about to be even crazier because this is it, Caboose. These players don't have no more safety net. Whoever loses this in the lower side bracket is going to be eliminated, eliminated from the tournament and out of the money. Yep, that's right. You're absolutely correct there. But now we have those winners ready to go for the top eight again this Friday, September 17th. We can't stress it enough. PM Eastern Standard Time. I'll exclamation point Caboose in the chat for you guys. Make sure you're following the stream. Make sure you're ready. We want to see you all tune in. And we got over a thousand viewers here. Insane. Which we really, really appreciate. Thank you guys very much for tuning in to Champions of the Realms and Justice 2. The top eight is going to be ridiculous. You guys got to get ready for it. Yeah. And uh, before we jump into that lower sides, we're probably going to take one more quick break because these matches are... I got to take a really bad shit. These matches are that crazy. 
But uh, before we go to that break, I just want to say again, like Kabu said, thank you so much, every single one of you coming through, supporting the Champions of the Realms. This is, this is fucking... This is dear to our heart, you know? Yeah. This is like our child of a tournament series we created here. So you guys coming through supporting, just bringing the hype, it's unfucking believable Right, like, Destroyer, I, I mean, not, not a lot of people know, but kind of my comeuppance in the FGC, where I became, like, a person that some people might know from the FGC, was with Injustice 2. This was the first game I started my commentating career with. This was the game that really put my channel on the map, a game that I covered a ton on my channel. So I know a lot of people recognize me from Injustice 2, and it's been a real labor of love putting this tournament together, and I really appreciate everyone showing up for it. It's It's been amazing seeing you guys really pull up for this tournament thank you guys yeah and i want to give some really big shout outs one big shout out to the homie bookworm contributing a massive amount to the prize pool shout out to the boys of cg motherfucking 59 we got homies in the navy watching this shit and that that is like beyond support that's fucking awesome knowing that that people in the in the fucking navy and in, the, in their ship cg 59 are are watching this and join the action that is just fucking incredible and a huge huge shout outs to console gaming league time and time again contributing to the prize for providing for champions of the realms and just straight up making these competitions fucking uh, a, a skeptical to, to to fucking withhold you know it's insane it's absolute mm -hmm. insane but mm -hmm. like i said we're gonna be taking one more quick break and when we get back we're gonna blow through the rest of these matches we're gonna blow through the rest of the lower side uh and, and complete this top eight that'll be going down on friday so you guys stick around don't go anywhere when we back when we get back it's gonna get fucking hype you motherfucker you motherfucker you you motherfucker you what's the most annoying character to play against in injustice 2. wonder woman that's oh, the best shit. character in the game wonder woman is number one and nobody will believe i think Ac accurate he's also in the back bracket he recently figured it out now he has her top three that character is the best character in the game. I hate fighting the Adam a lot. <laughs> He's my most uh, hated character to fight again. So, you know, of course, the, uh, you know. But I think I got some answers. But I, yeah, I still hate that character. I definitely have to say Starfire. She's just a pain in my ass. I hate getting around all this stupid zoning. But I mean, it is like, like once it get around it, you know, just, you know, counter it. Uh, and punish her for it, you know, it's really satisfying and fun. So, I mean, she's very annoying. Uh, so yeah, I, I'd say Star Power. Easily Brainiac. Nobody <laughs> likes that character. Nobody thinks, nobody thinks that character is like fun, man. They just, they just play him because he's bullshit. Going into this tournament, which opponent are you keeping an eye on? Who, who are you watching out for the most? Um, I would say I hate fighting the Adam a lot. <laughs> he's my most uh, hated character to fight again. So, you know, of course, the, uh, you know, but I think I got some answers. Probably Blood Cry, because Blood Cry is like my demon. Every tournament, it's, it's, he always, he always gets me to, I think I, I think I know what to do this time. I have to watch out for Compa because he's a, he's definitely a really strong competitor and tough fighter, uh, especially because his character beats mine. So it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to beat him. So I have to watch out for him. And if you were gonna make your perfect fighting game, like a fighting game that was yours, what's the one mechanic that has to be in the game? All right, so my fucking tag is Aki Oki Zeme, because I love some strong ass Oki. I need strong Oki in the game. Like I want every time you hit the opponent, they gotta hold something, so people don't want to get hit. So yeah, some strong Oki, some strong fucking offense after knocking their opponent down their end. I always thought it would be cool in a fighting game if you could be rewarded for teching throws. Because usually when you tech a throw, it just puts both players at neutral and that's it, you know? But if you have that good enough defense to be willing to keep blocking and try to react to throws and not let yourself get opened up, I feel like you should get rewarded. Like maybe if you tech a throw, you're plus on block. I mean, not a block, but, you know, maybe you're plus after taking a throw, or maybe you gain meter after taking a throw. Like a like a defense system, like a flawless defense, kind of like flawless blocking. Mm. I want something like that. Um, okay. Because I want the option, you know, where you can, if you defend yourself, you make the right read, you're rewarded for it, for, for that kind of defense. I, I, you yeah. Know, I like, 
you know, I like, uh, they had like a parry system in, in Soul Calibur, and then we got Flawless Blocking in K11. I think that's really, really cool. For we don't have like, I'm not really a fan of the games where it's super oppressive on one side, because then like if you're the receiving end, it's, I feel like it's not as interactive, it's not as fun. Welcome back, everybody. Champions of the Realms Injustice 2 is going to keep on continuing right now, right here. We're moving down to the lower bracket of things where the competition is about to get wild. This is do or die for these competitors right now because whoever loses these matches in the lower side, they're getting eliminated from the tournament. Yep. Yep. Eliminated. That's right. This is uh, this is do or die, just as you said. But also, this is the chance, the opportunity for these competitors to get into the top eight and round out our top eight that'll be going down this Friday. Twitch.tv slash Caboose, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 17th. You guys better be there. But Destroyer, the hype is so real. Are you ready for these next rounds of matches? Uh, the these question is, are these out. fucking players I'm ready? ready? I'm the final boss. You got to play. I'm the final boss, the brain dead atrocitus. Batman. Oh, man. Yo, your Atrocitus, I was watching you play the other day. That character is so hyped to watch as well. I know he's not like top, top tier or anything, but man, he's such a sick character. I know, and it's actually a surprise that we didn't have any Atrocitus in this tournament. No Atrocidae. Begin. Here we go. Loser of this match is going to be eliminated from the tournament, so the stakes are pretty fucking high right now. He's blasting projectiles all over the place. Let's see what Forever King has up his sleeve. That's such a cool part or a nice usage of the trait there. When you have it activated, you can either decrease or increase the speed of that straight projectile. Yeah, you can either you don't or you can impress me. Yeah, that's right. Bro, look at that fucking brain dead ass motherfucker sitting in the back there. He's watching. <laughs> He's watching like... Telling people how you've been dominating this tournament. Nice use of the wall. Right? He's, he's a fucking Shao Kahn now. Yeah, that's right. A beautiful combo there from Long. Holding the corner against Forever King, who has to battle it back. Remember the last time we saw him against Gompa, he lost that mirror match against another Batman. Gompa! Necesito compra! By the low. Oh, there's a raw back three into the throw. That's one thing actually I have noticed definitely that sets this game apart from both MKX and MK11 is you see people using the throw a lot less. As I say that though, Phoenix landing two of them now. Very good stuff. Try setting with a crossover jump three, but the beautiful block. Oh my God. He's fucking damaging uh, Brainiac ship. I don't think he wants to do that. Cause he got two Brainiacs in the top eight winner side. <laughs> Or one, one of them, I mean. Locked. Grapple. Okay, the air batarang gets the first health bar. That was a lot of work for Forever King to get the first health bar, but he potentially can make a comeback now. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Big start in this second round for Forever King, and he's gonna get that reset. Try to get the cross up. Has to climb. Wow. Give up. Back that he's at a Keep meter deficit. This means he's gonna take damage on the magic pixel now. He's gonna eat a real big fat pipo to the mouth and that's gonna do it. The down one, closing out the game. Going up, game number one, Wang Fiend. And look at this. It's me, Yeah, yeah, you know? It's me, Young Rambo. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you Caboose? Are you Caboose or you Rambo? Who are you? Like, I'm, I'm the worst nightmare. Oh, what do you mean you're my worst nightmare? Yeah, 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 you know that, yeah, you know that, yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Huh? It's me, John Rambo. Yeah. Motherfucker, you. Piece of shit. Okay, relax, John Rambo. You don't gotta talk to me like that. He's gonna tag him with the low off the start of the match, blasting yet again some more projectiles. Bro. Is it me or is Green Lantern like the perfect mix of pressure and zoning? He's got everything. He is a character that certainly has a lot of tools at his disposal. Can land combos, dish out a ton of damage, but also play that full screen. It depends on the matchup, of course, but most of the time, that is something that is very useful with this character. 
No doubts about it. Tries to tag him again with the low into the meter burn. Back three. Let's see what Forever King does here. Tries it with a back two. Wowzers! My goodness. Wow! Okay. Fucking Zers! Forever King. Gotta find some openings here. A nice back dash there at the end of that string. There's that trade activation. Slowing down those projectiles. Look at the patience from King right now. What's he gonna do? Is the zoning okay? He was just out of range. Beautiful. Look at this. He's gonna catch the pickup. What's the confirm? The cross up not gonna happen, but still managing to open him up. Yeah, that was clean. That was fucking clean right there. Oh my god, the trade sitting his ass down, knocks him out of the air. Forever King, he's got to keep this momentum up because damn, does he have a beautiful life lead here, Caboose. Look at that fucking combo, so swaggy. He lands full conversion there too, finding those hits. Okay, wait a sec, this is it. This is that go crazy. Oh, has to get the clash. You're this is so bad for Phoenix suit. right now. It's a Winning. lost clash where he potentially could have just ended the Toma! round. Now Phoenix is in a real rough position. <laughs> he uses the interactable though and gets costume. the first health bar eliminated now from Forever King. Let's see what Huang can do to try and close the life lead. Dude, the Forever way King. the way he tossed that shit at his face was too funny. It was too good. <laughs> Look at the patience from both players right now. They're just waiting, waiting to make draw first blood. Rambo, draw first blood. Rambo, first blood, draw first blood. Rambo. Oh my goodness, he meter burns. Wait a minute, he's still alive. He is definitely still alive, keeping himself safe. Was that plus? It is definitely plus right now. Using Holy the meter. shit, how many plus frames, bro? Two Forever King with the patience and the defense gets the down two to land. And I believe destroyer, are we all tied up? Yeah, we're tied up one apiece. Hoang going up one, Forever King going up one. We got ourselves a battle. And again, the stakes are high as shit because whoever ends up losing this, they're getting sent to the nether room. Whoever ends up losing this, whoever wins this is gonna get the Damascus controller. From Scuff, you want the Damascus? Fighters approaching the Joker's playground. Yo, you gonna send me that controller? What the fuck, what are you? Nah, you teasing nah, me now with that shit? That's mine. That's my Damascus right there. You seen it? I see. I'm calling Scuff. I'm gonna tell him to remove you as a as a candidate, and I'm gonna put me. I'm calling Scuff to give me Damascus in Modern Warfare. <laughs> oh, Scuff's an actual person. It's not a fucking company. <laughs> you gonna have Scuff? Yeah. I know Get you John Damascus. Scuff. I know John Scuff. Holy right? shit! John Scuff's gonna have one hell of a grind ahead of him. That's all I gotta say. Oh, nice read there with the air projectile. Gets caught on wake up there with a straight projectile. Meter burn from Phoenix, who's doing a great job at zoning right now. But okay, Forever King has closed the gap, and now he's found an opening. He's gonna go for a reset destroyer. I don't know what he's gonna do, but the pressure is looking insane. Forever King opening him up with the low on that Batarang. Didn't go for the trait. He could have extended a combo there. Phoenix missed opportunities big time. You gotta be very careful. Tries to utilize the Batarang to catch some spacing there, but Huang Phoenix just hunt him down. The back three into the wall, that was sick as fuck right there, bro. He back threed him into a wall. Cookie cutters. And Huang in that same position that Forever King found himself in at the end of that last game. He has a little bit of life on his first health bar left, and he can just kind of go crazy and try and get as much consolation damage as possible. And that's exactly what he's doing. This is huge for him right now. Very detrimental for Forever King. I mean, look at the chip out. He's literally just removing that life bar slowly, but surely at this point. He's gonna try to dash in there using the trait as an advantageous tool. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, he got it, he got it. Well, good stuff there from Forever King was finally able to get rid of that first health bar. Meter burns the forward three at the start of the next round to start things off. Great stuff there to close out that life lead. Oh, reads oh my God. Oh, he's forcing a clash out of Phoenix. Push yourself harder. He said, Push harder. he said, do you remember Leyenda Carnage? <laughs> and then Green Lantern said, I am Immortal. <laughs> Wait, what? I said that, I didn't hear that. I think he said that, I'm not too sure. Good pressure. 
plus frames? Bro, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like fucking Green Lancer's the tremor of Injustice 2 with the amount of pressure he's able to put on with that uh, trade activated. That's a good comparison to make it. The cross-up connects the Batman special. What was that combo? Oh my goodness. Nah, that was a conversion and a half right there, bro. Forever King pulling Batman off some wins. ridiculous tech. That's a combo I don't think I've ever seen from Batman in this game in my four years of playing it, commentating it, watching it, the whole nine yards. So you've seen that combo before? Wow, unbelievable. What? I'm gonna go play with the Damascus. <laughs> this guy's gonna go play with fucking John Scuff and they're gonna unlock Damascus together. Unbelievable. The last thing you thought to expect in a COTR Injustice 2 tournament. Bro, look at that player card on Batman. He he looks kind of swollen. Like they, like they punched him in the face a bunch of times. A little bit. Try standing with the with the shit, the grapple. The pressure is on Wang Phoenix being down two to one. And I don't know if I stress this enough, but this is final fucking tournament, final match for these guys. If they lose, they're out of not you. See that sequence? I don't understand. Out of the batarang, neutral box to get the punish. That's Whoa. maniac reads, bro. That was some next level shit. Playing it real safe, just taking a step back, waiting for the whip punish. Oh, there it is! Look at the trait! Bro! Holy shit. The fucking trait saved his ass. He's gonna blast him, bro. The amount of plus frames that Green Lanterns get is a bit problematic at this point. Every fucking special meter burn he does is looking like plus frames at this point. He's set crossing up, getting the round. Forever King now on max point. No this is happens, big news. No matter what happens here, these two have put on a hell of a show for the people watching at home. And this could close out the round. It looks like it will. We're all tied up. Phoenix needs this to send us to a game five and keep himself alive on the loser side. Gets the throw to start off the next round. Gets the back oh one as well. Oh my god, what do you think King tried to wake up with there? He just got oh. hit. Believe the guess and the I really don't. Forever King. At this point, I don't believe anything that's going on in this match. All I know is these two are killing each other, Caboose. It's been all Phoenix all day right now. And he meter burns the fourth three. Wow. Meter burns the Unclashable. Wait a minute. Wait a sec. Look at the meter, Caboose. Look at his meter. Okay, this is big. Forever King's going to get some good life back right now. And he still has a ton of meter to utilize. Goes with two bars. Trouble. Phoenix with the life lead is still in a bit of trouble right now. Oh my god. Well, remember, Huang is going to get access to two bars of meter. He has... Wait, he should have waited to get hit. Maybe... I don't know if that was the right time to clash. But Forever King could potentially tie this up. He's not going to do it. Saving onto that one bar of meter there. Oh my god, Caboose. This is fucking bad news bears right now. Is he going to go for the resend? What was that setup? Oh my goodness. He gets the back two, three. The rock wall off wake up. Meter burn the back he's dead. three. Throw no, the resend. he's not dead. The Batarang! The Batarang and Forever King has eliminated Phoenix and moves on to the top eight. Oh my god, I cannot believe what we just witnessed. Forever King, man. He just did the unthinkable, taking out possibly the greatest motherfucking Green Lantern to ever step foot in Injustice 2. That is monumental status right wow. there, man. What a comeback from Forever King. That clash was the difference maker. Getting that life back and as well having two extra bars of meter to save and utilize for the rest of that match was key. Phoenix, unfortunately, not able to hang on, but an incredible showing with Green Lantern, utilizing some tech that we have not seen with that character before. A great showing from Huang for with, uh, with Green Lantern. I loved it. Right, Adam. Adam, that's right. Okay, this should be interesting. Yeah, you know, I'm not too sure how this is going to pan out. I don't really know what the matchup charts are looking like between Flash and Adam. If we can get some context in the chat, that would be greatly appreciated. But they're going at it, man. This is probably... Uh, Yo, chat, what's the matchup? The, the two smallest dudes in the fucking game going at it here.
Toto versus Teta. Toto versus Totinsky versus Totinsky. Shoot a Bible. Oh. Yeah, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, Bible. Just tries to start off with the tire. It's not Great. gonna happen. Turns into the fucking dot. I, oh, what? How did he make that fucking read? I think Honeybee was just aware of what Adam players usually do when they're about to run out of their traits and kind of their last ditch effort move. Okay, there we go. Try to get that low and the push block to deactivate the trait. Good stuff from Majin. Super smart stuff, man. Also, Majin Brian, see, he's got this shit down to a key right here. You can see Honeybee either was trying to read that throw again or land one himself. And a big round for Majin Brian. Honeybee's got to get some things going. He's got to get it going now because the trait combo is incoming from Majin Brian holding that corner. Well, wait a sec now. Hold on. This is big. Whoa, this is going to hurt. Bama, bama, and Honeybee bama, has the meter. Bama, Honeybee has bama, the meter and bama, a reset. Bama, 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 oh my goodness. Bama, oh my stop goodness. It. What is happening? He wasn't able to fully convert another reset there, but that was still an insane Shit. amount of damage. He's getting caught by that trait though. He's got to open him up one more time to tie things up, potentially tie things up here. Yo, look at that. He had the flash dance ready, locked and loaded. He had it. He had it. Majin Brian, okay, though, he's in a low. really good position to just lame this out. You know, that's with that really, life lead. That's, that's been a really good sequence mm -hmm. for Honeybee there. He's got to keep maintaining that momentum and he might be able to tie up this life lead. But as I say that, a trait combo lands into the teleport, into the meter burn forward. Three wow. unclatchable damage. Wowzers. Game one going to Majin Orion. Wowzers. And they call it Bowsers. <laughs> it looks like they just skipped that outro altogether, huh? They don't give a fuck about Adam. They say, yeah, this character is shit. Don't show the outro. Let him die. Adam. Here's the thing with Honeybee, and, and, and as well in general with the character of the Flash, because a lot of people, there's been a debate as to, to where Flash is on the tier list for Injustice 2, right? And in the hands of Honeybee, that's a different story, but in general, the character of the Flash is just, you have to play like you are the Flash, it's in your opponent's face, and when Honeybee lands those setups and starts to get going, it's very hard to stop him. We saw a glimpse of it in that last game. If you can do a little more of that, I see a very different set playing out. Look at this. Puts up the stance yet again. But it looks like Manjin Bryan is going to get a beautiful hit on that trade. Oh. Tagging about 30% HP. Dude, that was genius. He's got to Oh my god, his fucking toe got caught on it. Unfortunate. Okay, wait a second. The back forward two going to connect. Honeybee taking a little bit of damage over time. But so far, it's looking like it's worth it. And the teleport on wake up. Gonna connect for Maja and Brian to get the first health bar off Honeybee. Dude, you know what's crazy? I had no idea Adam was able to set up multiple uh, acid vials on the ground. He put two of them back to back yeah. to try to just yeah. kill off Honeybee there. But wait a minute, this is the Flash God Lord we're talking about here. The damage on Honeybee is gonna be insane. Flies to the other side of the screen. Maja and Brian's gonna open him up. Yup. Got a clash, hundred percent. I think I'll pass this hero test. It's been really rough for Honeybee because he's always in that position where he's just out of range. To when he's just out of pipos, I know. He's just out of ship and maybe even a little bit of X smoke. Okay, wait a <laughs> oh shit! Damn, juicy combo right there, closing out the life bar. Honeybee staying alive. One good combo, Caboose, and I'm telling you, this could be all she wrote with Honeybee here. Oh, we try to go for the grab again to either get Majin Brian out of the trait or shut down a potential throw. And this could be the end of the game. He's going to use the fart cloud. Oh, oh no, the damage over time. I Honey's think he's dead. Get in the corner and gets caught. That could have been a shift in the tides for oh. Honey had the fart cloud not been there. He put two EX fart clouds on the ground. That was so problematic for Honeybee. There wasn't much he could have done there because, like, Flash is all over the screen. You know, he's got these crazy dashes, these these special moves that kind of send them flying left and right. So that situation Majin Brian put Honeybee in there was fucked. Holy shit. Blue die time now for Honeybee. He is down 2-0 against Majin Brian, who's been playing extremely well with Adam. Can Honeybee make this happen? I mean, he was in a position like this in round one, although we didn't get to see the match and they were played off stream. He was in the same position in round one of losers against Swamp King, and he made the reverse 3-0 happen. Can he do it again? 
I believe he can, but he just really needs to tighten things up. This is off to a really bad start for Honeybee. Yeah. Imagine okay. Brian with corner okay. control. Wait a second. Caboose. This, is, this, this could be it. This could be a ton of damage, and it's going to be. Destroyer, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Damn! 57%. Oh, they traded. That's actually very good for Honeybee. He lands the overhead. Finish it. Big. This could be death. Unless Modern Brian makes a crazy read with a, with a back roll or something, that's going to oh. do it. Good shit from Honeybee. And those combos, the amount of inputs you have to do there. Oh, he didn't have the meter, otherwise that would have been huge. This is going to be huge. Honeybee now has maybe been activated. He gets the reset. Meter burn on the interactable. Needed to do that. And, and now Majin going to set up the far cloud, but it might be going away just in time for Honeybee to get some good hits in with just a little bit of life left on his first health bar. He can go a little crazy right now, avoiding some chip damage to get death. No, and wait a second. Shut it down. He doesn't want to clash. He doesn't want to clash. And he's not going to get the opportunity. Holy Brian shit. wasn't able to get that first health bar. And Honeybee may the have been activated wins. by the Speed Force Destroyer. Bro, Honeybee just fucking amped it up. You are not lying. Speed Force indeed. And we take a look back at, at one of the earlier matches that happened in the lower bracket. Swamp King versus Honeybee. You the mentioned flash. it before. No, he did have to reverse 3-0 the mans to get to where he is now. So yep. imagine the story, imagine the tale for Honeybee to do yet again another reverse 3-0 to get into this progress. fucking loser side top eight. That would honestly be an epic tale right there. He's certainly got a bit of a handle right now. He's got one hand on the wheel. Can he get a second one to correct his steering in this match against Majin Bryan's Adam? Let's see what happens. He's blocked that trait real well. Ooh, lag spike? Or was that me? I don't think so. I didn't see anything. Oh, oh shit. I just I had a crazy lag spike. Incredible trade combo there with the canceling off of the lightning kick. He landed another hit there, but didn't fully convert. Not sure what Honeybee was going for. Going for an empty jump. Watching out for the trade. Here comes the trade combo now from Majin Bryan. He's going to push Honeybee all the way to the other side of the screen. Wanted the low. Just a rock. Wow. Lower three connects. And Majin Bryan going to extend the combo and getting the reset with the cross up. Beautiful stuff. Holy this is shit. Great Give me a right break. Now. This and is a back and forth here. Kick. All right, let's not let's not count out Honeybee just yet, because one good touch is gonna be about a seventy percent combo into Toma Puta. Wow, the double overhead from that trait coming from Adam here. Honeybee is trying to lock him down in the pressure. Okay. Oh, that's a punish. That's a life bar, I think, Caboose. And he gets the cross up. Oh, that's a this life bar. Hundred percent. No, he dropped it. I commentators it cursed it. I commentators oh cursed it. Oh my god, this is heartbreaking right now for Honeybee. There's the trade out. My commentators cursed it, chat. Getting off by the trade destroyer. This is so bad. I, I, oh no, the I, I don't. I don't even want to commentate anymore after that one. Oh no, this is not looking good for Honeybee Bro. right now. He's gotta get something going. Okay, he gets the hit. He gets the throw. He gets the oh, throw. Oh boy, he's gonna be putting himself in a really difficult situation. And you know, Majin Brian's gonna be trying to fish out that clash. You don't want it to happen. Yeah. With a life lead, like oh, he got it. He got it. Now, now, Smart stuff. Spend two I bars. Three. Or he spend he's gotta go. Here. I would go with three, bro. Get as so, get get as much life as you can. Yeah, maybe he should have to get the 25%, but he opts to just spend the two bars. Has two more to go. Down two to counter. The jump in. That was the most preemptive down two. Ready. Bro, he threw that down two from okay. 10 miles away. Oh. How the fuck? Oh. He can make oh. this happen. Majin does oh. have the clash, listen, and he's going to go listen, off of it. Honeybee's most quick. viewed video of all time on the channel <laughs> is a greatest comeback ever with the flash. Let's he see him do it. Capable. Let's see him do it in oh. tournament. Oh. oh. The trade oh, will boy. do it, and Honeybee's been eliminated. The Flash God Lord will not be joining us for top eight for Champions of the Realm Injustice 2, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Let's try to speed this up. Hit up the next players, Biohazard and Loki. Let's get them in the in the King of the Hill so we can get these matches rolling because I think this was a bit too much injustice for your boy right here, bro. <laughs> a bit too much injustice for your boy. And hype matches at that, bro. Like, holy shit. Back and forth all over the fucking place. And it's just going to get crazier. This is just a taste of what's to come uh, when that top eight goes down. Yes, sir. All right. I think both of the players are in the room and ready to go destroy. You just got to send out those invites. Yes, sir. Re. So up next, we got a juicy one. It looks like it's going to be uh, Biohazard going up against Shark FGC, a.k.a. Loki. 
I want to see this chat go crazy. I want to see hype like never before. Let's see some fucking emotes, caboose emotes, destroy emotes, Toto yes, Stentas, the whole nine yards. I want to see everything go crazy. Last two matches for tonight, and then we'll be getting the top eight on Friday, this Friday, over on Caboose's Twitch channel, 6 p.m. Eastern yep. time zone. You better not fucking miss it. Adam, you better not miss it, guys. I'm telling you, it's going to be so freaking hype. Yo, Shark. What? Cheetah? Adam? Oh, shit. Excuse Cheetah me? Adam. This is not the matchup I was expecting to They're see They're cheating. Right now. You know, I was going to mention this earlier. Biohazard, when I've watched him stream sometimes playing Injustice 2, of course, Bane is his, his main, you know, the bars, but I've seen him dabble and play and have some fun with Cheetah. I think using the, the Vixen Premier skin right now, starting things off, though, Shark getting some hits in with that trait. I think one thing that Bio really likes about Cheetah is the character's mobility. And as well, just the, the the opportunities you get to dish out crazy amounts of damage. There's that forward three, double hitting overhead. And speaking of that damage. Holy shit! I think he didn't realize that he already did a bounce off the forward three. Otherwise, he could have extended that combo a little further, leaping across the screen and taking that first round is Biohazard. That was absolute beautiful sequences right there from Bio. And like you said, man, the damage from Vixen is very problematic. She's like a more agile Bane. You're absolutely right. She's got command grabs. She's got crazy fucking damage. And on top of that... Don't make She's got the Toto Teta. Did you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because that makes sense. Um, did you see what happened there? Bio had to stay patient, let that train come out, and punish it immediately. I don't know what's happening here, but Loki off to a real bad start. Just as I say that, gonna dish out crazy damage and take away that first life bar from Bio. Let's see. Oh, what a wake up. That was beautiful. Knocking him out of the air. Yo, that takes him out of the trade. I understand now why Bio even decided to go for the Vixen. I think yep. she's got a lot of anti-options for, for the homie Adam here. Wow, what was that? Holy cow. Trying to hit him with a down three. Holy Loki, holy. he's trying to open him up, dude. Life bars are Look even as can be. Bars. I'm scared. Oh, oh that's, that's that. gonna be that's it. That. That's gonna be it. 40% no for what? Available. It wouldn't have even mattered. Oh, There's no clash man. available. Biohazard closing out that first game. An intense first game. Bro, that was 40% off of what? <laughs> out of thin air. Yeah. Out of thin fucking air, Biohazard flipped the switch and just slashed Adam into pieces. Wow. Biohazard off to a really good start here. Uh, Needs two okay, more games to, to get into that Vixen. top eight. Oh. I was about to ask if we was see Hellboy switch to Hellboy. This is going to be a lot of jumping around. There's going to be so much verticality in this Fight matchup. It's going to be ridiculous. Dude, you are not lying. I just realized it. Either Vixen versus Grodd or Vixen versus Hellboy. Either or is going to be aerial combat to the max. Yep. Just call this fucking game and just and, and jumps this too. <laughs> nice straight gun shot there from Loki. Oh, oh the my right god. That was him. disgusting, bro. Was He's nasty. fucking ragdolling Vixen right now. Uh, you don't want to see this. It looks pretty uh, pretty mean. That was actually clean. It grabbed her right out of the air. Uh oh. But this easily is, tying up the damage, does. bro. Holy shit! <laughs> Peter Burn back three. They're dishing it out right now, destroying it. slobber knocker. He doesn't get a combo. Oh my god, the dive! Avoiding oh, other oh. fucking damage plus one biohazard! Takes a life bar! City. Wow! City. I love what I'm watching right now. Don't 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 injustice too. Bro, I mean like Oh the anti air again <laughs> with that air. Fuck? That's gotta be one of the coolest tomorrow. fucking moves in the game. Dude, it just goes to show how the the atmosphere can change dramatically depending on what the matchup is in this game. You know, usually you can get characters that are going to be in a complete zone fest, but right now this is a straight slug fest. This crocodile coming, he said, bitch, you part of the suicide spot now. Oh my, oh my. I, 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 don't, I don't think enough people are recognizing how fucking hype this set is right now. I don't see enough hype in the chat because it's actually insane what you're watching. 
I mean, if anything, we could just start banning people. No big deal. Yeah, to be honest. Oh, oh my god! Go. Knocks him out of the air. This could be a potential comeback situation for Biohazard. Oh, the oh, damage oh, on Vixen is dead. unreal! Oh, oh, tried to get the air grab. He made the read there, but it was just out of range. Ugh. Loki, using the interactable Wait, was out of range. What? Oh, and the air to air. Loki gonna tie it up. How did that interactable whiff? Was she too close? Hellboy wins. Yeah, she was too close. It went over her head there. But nevertheless, Shark manages to hold on. No, this is crazy, dude. These matches have really amped up. Bang. Bio. Hellboy. He's opting to go with the Bane. I'm not going to say this is Bio necessarily a counter pick game. war. Because I feel like all the characters they've been pitting up against each other kind of has their their strengths and weaknesses you know when, when they're being put put one on one but let's see what yep. happens here man bio making the clean switch to bane could this be the answer both of these players tied one apiece we got ourselves a fucking match and not to get things uh stressed out for these players but this is lower side of the bracket whoever loses this is going to be eliminated from the tournament man no money and that's the, that is the hardest L to take. The, the L right outside of top eight. Yeah. And especially for Bio right now, trying to avenge his brother, who was just recently eliminated from the tournament. I love when we're seeing some big bodies right now on the screen. To some be honest, big, I kind of wish... Big pipos. I kind of wish Bio stuck with the Cheetah, because that matchup was ridiculous, but I understand why he wanted to switch. That anti-air, that air grab that Shark has with Hellboy has been such a good counter for Cheetah's leaping. So he needs the damage that uh, that Bane can dish out. And seriously, dude, when you consider the fact that, that Loki has some pretty godlike reactions, Bio, he had to be careful jumping in the air because he was 10 yeah. for 10 with those air grabs, it almost seemed like. Yeah. Good interactable. Loki right now, he's just zoning him out, trying to get as much damage as possible before he loses his slither of life. And there okay. it is, uses the Venom to knock him out of dodge. Now, normally I would say, you know, Shark's got quite the life lead here, but a life lead really doesn't mean much when you're playing against Bane. Because all it takes is literally one command grab at level three train. The next thing you know, 70% of your health is gone. Whoa! Just like I said, there's Holy a 60% combo. No, he said, I'm the real Ron Perlman. <laughs> Bio oh, not gonna bend his meter. He wants to hold on to it, especially if he needs to clash himself. He activated trait. That's right. Oh, jumping everywhere. Oh no, that's bad. That's unclashable wow. damage right there. He should have clashed while he could. And Shark gonna take the game and go up to one in the set. Now Caboose, let me paint a picture for you real quick. So you know how Caboose. Uh, not Caboose. Yeah. You know how Bane yeah, I know is. Me. <laughs> you know yourself. Yeah. So you know how Bane is all about command grabs and and like he he he, he has a lot of fucking tick throws as Hellboy. well. Bane. I feel like Hellboy just throws that all down the drain because once he activates his his trait, what are you gonna do? You can't get a command grab going. It's just gonna eat right through his fucking trait. You know. Yep. Yep. You're absolutely right about that. So I don't know really what Bio's got to do to adapt here, but. He's down 2-1, and he's got to fight to send it to a game five. Otherwise, he and his brother have been eliminated from Champions Rums Injustice 2, which doesn't leave a lot of the veterans that we know from Injustice 2 tournament play left. No, you're totally right about that. If you look at the bracket, the only OGs that really made it past this fucking bloodbath was Forever King and Tweety. Even then, uh, wait, is it Forever King? Where's Forever King? Why am I not seeing his name? He's in losers round three. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. He played against uh, Wong. Yeah, King King is in the top eight, and he's going to have to fight Majin Bryan uh, when Friday comes comes forth. Good okay. pick up there. I guess there he wanted the game. down two to avoid that uh, back roll. Just staggering, man. Staggering on top of staggering. Let's see what happens here. This is essentially a battle of the armor, if you really think about difficult. it. Yeah, it, it has been, and it's been a winning battle so far for Shark, who's gonna get the chip damage and go on match point now. Not making a good first impression. Not making a good first impression. I'm Ron. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I, I hope Ron Perlman gets to watch this tournament. 55% <laughs> there with the trait being activated, Destroyer. Okay. 
Watch the meter burn back three. Gets the air to air to connect. That is potentially the round. There it is. And it will be. Okay. Biohazard doesn't have too much of a life deficit. Activating the trade. Look at that's what I was talking oh, about earlier, but he still down. opened him up. Yep. Wait. So it's just one hit of armor Hellboy gets? I don't know. How did he break that? Not entirely Just sure, but nevertheless, a clash now from Shark, who's probably gonna bet two meter. Yes, indeed. Get that 25% health back. Oh wait, actually does 25% damage. Wait, Bio's oh, the one? No. What? Are you oh, serious? I got that wrong, and that's it. Off the off the punish. Shark has won it three to one. I, I got that wrong. My wow. bad. Oh, that's unfortunate. Fucking caboose with the false promises. He got everybody excited, and the next thing you know, I, I thought Bio's I thought it eliminated was from the tournament now. Flashed. I got mixed up there. No, Spanky, stop yeah. the music. Stop ending the stream. It was no, good. Wait, wait, it was it was wait, nice wait, wait, knowing everybody, and we're not gonna get this last match on their way. Right. No, no, Come no. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll do it. Last match. All right, All right you motherfucker. The last you fucking match, bro. Bitch. It's now listen. Answer. I want to say something real quick. This has been one hell of a tournament. This has been one hell of a journey, but Caboose, we finally made it to the fucking end. <laughs> we finally made it to the fucking end. This is it, the last match for these players to get into the top eight. It's about to go down. Praise the Lord! Top eight is gonna be Wait, Caboose, insane. you didn't join. Uh, yeah, it's this connecting match for me. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. They're starting the match way too fast. I mean, we'll screen share this last one. It's no big deal. Let's just get this shit over with. Fighters approaching. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta do that then. Hopefully nobody joins and fucks it up. That's the only thing that can ruin this match right now. So please, people, have some consideration and don't join. Let's just let these guys play it out. I'm gonna set up the uh, screen share for you right now, homie. Just give me one second. You could shut down the cam. Screen, screen one, boom. You got that? Mic yeah, test, I mic test. It. All right, perfect. Let's go. Final match I, I for tonight. So you can turn off the screen share. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, you can turn it off after this match. But oh, I after this match. All right, sweet. Okay, he's gonna hit him with the tentacles. This is it. Blood cry so far. Getting the first damage on the table here. Tries to roll to the other side, avoiding the dive kicks from Brain Dead. I mean Brainiac. <laughs> nice down two anti air there from Blood Cry and a very convincing first round. You know what's funny? We haven't seen Blood Cry pretty much all day. <laughs> we saw him kind of towards the beginning and then we hadn't seen him like all day. Interesting. No, you know why? Because he was like one of the first matches to play. Yes. That's why. He was. He was. Knocks him out of the air. Blood Cry, though, is doing really fucking good. And I can't stress this enough. Not only is this going to be a team kill. But well, this is gonna be the final spot, Caboose, to get into the top eight these players have been working their asses off for. You're absolutely right. And a nicely or a nicely one round there from Shadid, who did so pretty convincingly, able to kind of tie things up and not take a lot of damage after the convincing life lead that Blood Cry had. Oh, nicely done the air to air. Oh, okay, ah. the clash. Who's gonna go off of that? That's Shadid activating it. How many bars is he planning to waste? The two. I don't know, man. Sometimes I feel like it'll be more beneficial to get back some HP rather than just spending meter for no damage or nothing, you know? Did I lose you? Shit. Yo! Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Share the screen. Don't worry. There it is. Tentacles all over the place. Dive kicks all over the place. Oh, oh meter burst is this gonna kill? Oh my god, it might. It might destroy her. I think it actually is. Holy shit, Black Manta dealing the final blow. Wow. I can't believe it. Oh, Shatheed with the comeback. Why? Why did Black Manta fucking low blow him like that, bro? All right, you, can, you can turn off the screen share. You can turn it off. All right, perfect. Mic test, mic test. I oh, there it is. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Holy cow. That Brady was down to the fuck. What? Cyborg? Wait, what? <laughs> no, you know what it huh? is? I remember when I was running sets, uh, the first of fives and shit, Deoxys was the one that told me that Cyborg is actually a counter to shithead. I mean, brain dead. I mean, Brainiac, oh. fuck. Yeah, that's right. He does have air projectiles. Begin. This could that's be what he needed all along. Game. Let's see. And yo, these got, colors are so fucking clean. Yeah, honestly. 
little red versus blue action. Hey, he looks like a fucking Power Ranger in this outfit. Trying to wake up with the uppercut, gets the throw to connect. Watch the dive kick, looking for an air projectile there. Oh, gets caught and into the interactable. Look at the damage destroyer, 44%. Wait a second now, the Roomba's been activated. The That's Roomba's a been lot activated. of damage. You mean the mother box? No, the Roomba. I don't know what a mother box is, but I know what a Roomba is. This is the and mother I box. A, I know a Roomba when I see one. All right, you know oh, what? Oh, he was about to toss his shit at Brainiac, but he interrupted it. Unfortunate. The Roomba's Let's been activated. see if this works out for Blood Cry. Wow, he tried to get something started there, but Shadid just powering through the interagnal. He powered through everything oh right there. God. This is nuts. Oh my goodness. The sweet. I, I can't believe the corner pressure that I'm seeing right now from Shadid. But wait a sec, okay? Blood Cry gonna activate the Roomba once again. Bro, he's talk for the chip, and he's gonna get a hit in there, okay? Now, Blood talk Cry has the full screen. Yeah. Talk about a fucking train. comeback, Caboose. Honestly, it could be possible. I mean, yeah, Coming considering the, the fact that this is a good matchup for uh, Tribe Cyborg. Cyborg. Triborg. Oh, the sweep on Wake Up gets shut down by a meter burn forward three, and Shathid is up 2 0. Now, does Blood Cry stick Brilliant with the Cyborg wins. pick, or do you think he just tries to go back to his friend Butter? Oh, man. This is definitely the question this we all want to know. Hard Cause, position. Because if you think about it, you know, I kind of feel like uh, Blood Cry was doing a lot better with the Aquaman. Aquaman. But then when you look Brainiac. at matchup charts, they say Cyborg beats Brainiac. So, you know, he tried to go there off of a counter pick and it failed. Oh, so now he's going to be going back to the tried and true Aquaman, yeah. his, his main guns. I think that's what he's got to do. Aquaman is also still not a bad counter against Brainiac. The down two has got a lot of range, can really catch Brainiac out of the sky. Begin. And he's look. I mean, look at that fucking trident anyways. Yeah, he's got the ultimate trident. You are not capping about that right there. There we go. There we go. Good start now for Blood Cry. He's going to land a healthy 41% damage combo. Meter burns the Ooh. back three and catches Shathi jumping back. Just gotta play it patient here. Blood Cry has a massive life lead, Caboose. If, if he manages to take control of this match, I think this is gonna be the stepping stone for him to make a, a comeback. Unbelievable chip damage in the air to air. That was beautiful. Connect. Blood Cry has played a really good game so far after switching back to Aquaman. Locks the meter burn off of the dive kick and lands a throw. Yeah, this is kind of the, the last life factor we've been talking about all day today with yeah, Injustice right, cool. 2. You know, deal as much damage as you can before you lose that life part. Go crazy. Oh, did you see that damage? It all connected. It was still almost hit like a block or blood cry, but he still took the damage regardless. And Shathid able to close out that first health bar and doesn't have too much of a life deficit to work with here. Let's see what happens. As he connects the air to air. A Dude, nice air escape though. Is it from Blood impossible Cry. to trade with that fucking dive kick he does? It's I like the hurt know. box on it shuts down everything. Honestly. Oh, meter burn back three connect. That was beautiful. He couldn't yo, he should have kept it unclashable, bro. Perhaps went for a forward three at the end of that. That would have been the right idea. Getting that damage to cash out is huge for Blood Cry right now, especially considering that he has no meter to work with. Oh my god, oh, the interactable connects. Not like this, Caboose. Not like this. Shafid is on match oh, point. Oh, brought back three. And he couldn't get what? the punish off the air escape. Destroy everybody gets the low. Oh, this, into the that, interact that, the stage Does this kill? Oh my god. I don't think That's so. That's going to be very scale. minimal damage scaling. Well, yes, this does scale, but with those two hits, it's going to be a lot. And the oh! interactable, he spends the meter. Blood Cry is alive and kicking. And look, he looked like a fucking dead insect in the, in the back. His tentacles just flopped out. That shit looked nasty. GG's, man. Blood Cry staying alive in this set. He said, I smell the money. I smell the money. Aquaman. Brainiac. Fighters approaching Arkham Asylum. Here we go now. Game four underway. Can Blood Cry continue Begin. this shift in momentum and send us to a game five for our final match of the Night Destroyer? I believe it. I fucking believe it, bro. It looks like he put his game face on.
Just needs to be careful with Shathid's mix-ups because, bro, this Brainiac is tricky as hell. Good back three. He's going to confirm nice the damage. Combo. Beautiful combo, man. 34% nice and clean. Tries to toss the interactable, but gets punished for it. It's just Peter all about right decision-making. This is going to tie up the life bars, Caboose. Drops, Drops it. No good damage, and he gets the There it is. Back. Okay. Oh, my go God. Back three. I don't know if he needed to do that. He could oh, fuck it at this point. <laughs> But yeah, I guess if he's looking for some flashy combos. And he's got the trade, he's got the meter, it didn't hurt him at all. He had the right idea there with the meter burn back three. It's just that Shadid didn't dash forward that much. He's a he shithead? He's a shithead. Dude, this is getting way oh, too rushing. How did that even work? I thought it was invincibility frames on that wake up, bro. No, but he got the unclashable damage and he's gonna Whoa. go for that water move. I don't know what the fuck it's called. The, the, okay. the tsunami. The tsunami, sure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not it. I'm going to call it that. Fuck it. Locks the meter oh burn Oh my pick. god. Oh, I think we're going to a final game. Need. For the final the game, Caboose. He's playing so smart right now. He's just holding that. And there it is. The meter burn. Shadid pretty much had no options there, by the way. Bloodcry just kind of had to wait till he approached. And that's it. We're going to a game five. I'm nervous, bro. I'm nervous. If there's one You're last nervous. moment for the chat to go crazy, it's now. Final game, final match for tonight. This is it. Blood Cry versus Speed is going down right here, right now. Get fucking hype. Bring the fucking hype in the chat right now. Final match of the night to round out our top eight for this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Twitch.tv slash Caboose. You guys better be there because the hype is only getting started. This is it. He's going to catch him with a dive kick into the back three. Here we go. Thalma knocks him to the ground. Shatid is going to be putting all the power he has into this final match to try to advance to the top eight. If there's ever been a time for Shathid to have a good start. Bro, it was flawless now victory. Here, flawless off of this round. What is Blood Cry gonna do now? Peter Burn back three. This is great. He needs that shift in the tides. I can't even talk oh, right now, bro. No, I'm nervous. Tentacle. He tried to use the tentacle, but gets punished for it big time. Peter Burn back three to get through the trait. Nicely done, Blood Cry. Getting a good damage combo there. I think Blood Cry's best bet right now is to try to build up as much meter he can for the clash. I think you're absolutely right. Need to run back three again. Oh, he's that wasting has been it. working wonders. I know he's been wasting it, but I mean, it has worked every single time he's used it. Dude, he literally wasted the, the back three, and I think now he's going to put himself in a very problematic situation because if any clash happens here, he's going to be losing life. There it is again. Another meter. He has no back meter. Three. It's working, though. Destroyer. I don't it's know. working, but he has no meter right now. And clashes are literally game changers. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna talk. Bro, and whiff! Oh, is, super? I, is he dead? Oh my god. I think he's dead. What he's dead. a better way to end, Destroyer. A last match with a super oh move. Oh my god. in the Brainiac no. ship no. and bringing in the <laughs> ultimate razor. That is how you end it in style. And the Brainiac reverse 3 has been shut down. Shathid is going to the top eight with the Brainiac Maniac. The brain dead Brainiac is what you should have said. <laughs> no, let me stop. I'm not taking away from any of these players, bro. This was definitely well-deserved. The competition today was seriously madness. Did you think Injustice 2 could get this fucking hype? What the hell I happened? Think what what I happened? think what has excited me the most, Destroyer, is, yeah, we have those familiar killers that everyone recognizes from the Injustice 2 Pro Circuit days. We had Gur in there. Of course, we got Tweety. We got Honeybee, Biohazard. But amongst those killers, amongst those veteran names that everyone knows from the Injustice 2 and NRS community, it's nothing but new faces in this top eight. The only two recognizable names, and I don't want to shout or call out anybody, but I'm, so, I'm talking about like vets to the NRS community. The only two that we have in this tournament, in this top eight, are Forever King and Tweety. Besides that, it's nothing but brand new faces. I love it. I love it too, man. Let's take a, a last look at this bracket, bro. There you have it. There is your fucking top eight caboose. We ran the gauntlet today i'm not we gonna did. lie it was we pretty did. insane but
I mean, it's what's to come. We, we try to, again, we try to give you guys the best matches. Uh, and I think we, we definitely gave enough content here for Injustice 2. But here it is, man. This is the top eight. Caboose, you want to let these dudes know for the thousandth time <laughs> where they can catch this top eight? Guys, uh, I can't stress that enough to everybody who's tuning in. The top eight goes down this Friday, September 17th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is going to be on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash caboose. I'll hit exclamation point caboose in the chat for you guys. There's the link to my Twitch channel. Make sure you guys are following and that you're ready for this Friday. You do not want to miss out on this top eight. If you thought anything today was ridiculous hype, you're not ready for what tomorrow is going to bring for you. Please, please tune in, you guys. It's going to be insane. Yeah, dude. Let's just wrap this up real quick. I mean, look at here. We got some of the craziest matches about to go down on that Friday top eight. Accurate versus Compa. We got Mason versus Tweety. Shathid versus Loki. And Forever King, that was probably the clutchest way to make it into yep. a top eight. Yep. Forever King going up against Majin Brian. It's going to be an absolute bloodbath. And I just want to take the second to say huge shout outs to everyone who contributed to the prize pool. A yep. big shout outs to the boys of CG59. Huge shout outs to Bookworm. Massive shout outs to Console Motherfucking Gaming League. And everybody else who contributed to the prize pool. And all the viewers. I did not think we were going to get this much love for an Injustice 2 Champions of the Realms tournament. But holy shit, did you guys blow our expectations. I mean... Close it out, Caboose. I'm ready to get yeah. the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Thank you to everybody for tuning in. Big shout outs to all of our sponsors and everybody who's contributed to the match of Reno for Champions of the Realms. We'll see you this Friday for the top eight. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 17th. Twitch.tv slash Caboose. I've been Caboose. That's my boy, Destroyer. And you don't impress me.